Yeah, IPAs suck. I'm sorry. I can't either. I don't understand the appeal. And they've been going uber happy lately, too. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, a normal it, IPA is like, not even a thing. It's like quadruple hops. I don't get it. I don't get it. Too much, man. Yeah. I need a little something it. I can cut with a knife and a fork, man. I need a stout. I need a porter. Yeah. Something it's really Something thick. like that. Yeah, baby. Yeah. 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 The IPAs have their times. Like, I used to like them a lot more now. Late 30s, lighter, 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 lighter I'm, beer. Not, I'm like, does anybody actually like them, or is it just a thing to be like, I'm the beer guy, and I like IPAs? Late 30s, yeah. the uh, lighter stuff's more forgiving. Right? right. The last time I had one was at his 40th birthday party, and we uh, we were, like, fucking hammered already. And uh, there was, like, nothing left, and I drank one of my buddy's IPAs, and I ended up puking that night. And I was like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like I'm way too old for this shit. You know, like, what am I doing? Yeah. Like, the whole next day, I was just tasting nothing but IPA. Just like. Yeah, I was a hero for nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously. Like, why did I do any of this? <laughs> Some of them are intense, too, man. You get like those 11, 12 percenters. Like, Jesus oh, yeah. Christ, man. This thing's a, yeah. the problem yeah. is so, a shot, pretty much. You know? so freaking, they like, serve them to you in a, in a glass like this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. They're so tasty, but like, you're one and done. 12 percenter, right? It's just. Wait, no, wait I've never much. been a beer yeah. guy ever though. Like even when I, like in my hard drinking days and college years and shit, it was always cheap whiskey and whatever. You know? I was the opposite. Well, I yeah. was always beer guy. Beer dude. Yeah. Yeah. Seems like people go one way or the other. Like pounding fucking what was your beer? Bud Lights, Miller Lights, something. Mine probably PBR. Yeah. 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 Dude. <laughs> yeah for sure. Cheap. Yeah, yeah. Right on um so fuck i'm gonna be honest with you guys i don't know a ton about your band and i kind of <laughs> kept it that way cool. intentionally i so, like that so that you guys can tell me about it actually uh b-dub here was like uh you get you should fucking hit these guys up they're doing uh getting their band back together and whatever so i never saw you guys back in the day or anything you know so i was kind of hoping that you guys could kind of give me like a little i don't know history of the band or whatever you know how it all how it all shook out you know when you guys started and uh you know for sure a little bit about the, the reunion you guys are doing here so. well i mean as far as history goes he should probably take it i came in a little bit later but uh the uh so riy reinventing yesterday started uh with chad and i our drummer um we met in a bowling alley <laughs> through a through a, a mutual friend at the time. I don't even know this story. Every great band's yeah. origin story starts with <laughs> yeah. bowling alley. Let's yeah. be honest. A lot of them, right? <laughs> and no, we uh, we met and uh, it was through a mutual friend. And I, I don't know what sparked the conversation about music, but we uh, as soon as like I found out that he played drums, and he found out that like you know I played guitar, it's like well fuck our friend. Like what? Like when are we gonna practice? Right? So. You guys yeah. fucked your friend? No, right. <laughs> yeah. That was later. That was, yeah. No, the, uh, but um, we ended up, our first practice was at his parents' house in their garage. Um, I brought my little uh, combo amp over and um, we just fucked around. How old were you guys? I think I was like 17. Oh, shit. Yeah. Chad was probably 18. I think we were like, I was a sophomore. I think he was a junior. Something like that. Where? Yeah. What high school did you guys go to? I went to Water Valley. Okay. I, and yeah. then he went to Hartford. So, right, like, like right. tiny little Midwest town. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know Hartford Water represent. Valley. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, actually, <laughs> I went to high school with Chad. I taught uh, oh, yeah, a that's band right. camp at Water Valley one year for their marching band. Okay. And, like, it must have been 2004. Four ish, something like that. So. <laughs> yeah, maybe we cross paths. I don't know. Maybe yeah, I was teaching. <laughs> I was uh, never in band. But. Uh, I was teaching uh, some random drum lines for. That's uh, kind of a long story and not relevant to this, but yes. So yeah, I'm kind of a little bit familiar with that. It's way down there, right? Way down by the border, kind of. <laughs> the bo the border <laughs> of the Michigan. border. <laughs> yeah, like, I always describe uh, Water Bleats like it's, uh, I describe it as exit forty one on I ninety four. So it's okay. It's not too far from there. It's like That's between the Kalamazoo yeah. and St. Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Around ninety four, there's a there's a water park there, a sad water park. <laughs> <laughs> Is there? Described it well. I had a buddy who stayed in that water park uh, 
one night and he just got super ripped and then like he saw like the maintenance closet open he's like and there was this elephant costume and i stole it <laughs> <laughs> and he had it in his trunk for like two years and nice. I, I always try to convince him like you gotta let me borrow that because it was when i was playing with the band i'm like because i want to play in that costume yes, which is correct but yes yeah, i think, that's he, was what so, I think he was so paranoid about stealing it he didn't like Give it to anybody. Oh, that's so lame. If you're going <laughs> to steal an elephant <laughs> costume, dude, like, you got to at least man. use it. Like, what are they going to do? If you get sent to jail for that, that's just more legendary yeah. status right, right. there, dude. Yeah. Boy, In be, the mug shot, yeah. you're wearing it. For sure. I, I would have worn it live, for sure. That, it yeah. It would have been worth it. It's always plausible deniability. Like, no, this is an entirely different elephant costume. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 This is a vastly yeah. different yeah. setting. Yeah. Yeah. Someone, ripped, someone ripped the, like, hubs off of it so they could play guitar. Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> No, we, um, so yeah, our first practice was in Chad's parents, their basement. But after that, we kind of commuted to my sister's ha- uh, house she was running. Um, and then we went through multiple musicians. You know, we, we struggled to find the right fit. Different bass players, different singers, other guitar players. Um, mm-hmm. We did that for like a year. Yeah. So we built this like, like a long list of songs that varied from like hardcore to like stuff like glass jaw yeah off the wall stuff if you put everything together like it made no sense like we thought it was great we thought we were the shit but um, (laughs) it's like that in your high school band yeah Yeah. like but when you like play with some other people you're like fuck yeah we got to go back to the drawing board because we're not as good as we thought we were But, uh, but um we met um a couple other people in um chad's high school and then bangor a uh, bass player and a singer. And that's when actually like RIY became RIY. We started kind of like developing our sound a little bit more as to what we wanted to be. Yeah. Um, so we did that for about a year, building a mild following. Um, and then our bass player, you know, he was a pretty successful kid. He ended up going to college and like Olivet. Um, so he was not going to be able to continue yeah, with us. Yeah. So he's like, guys i'm i'm peacing out Mm -hmm. even the band and then our singer left shortly after that he's like i want to eat and uh live indoors (laughs) exactly (laughs) (laughs) what uh do you remember like what year was that like 2005 that's kind of what i was wondering too when i joined six yeah so i think you joined it would have been if you it was either late 2005, early 2006. Because I had just moved to Kalamazoo, and you guys basically asked me to try out, like, as I was m- moving into my apartment. Yeah. And then I came to see you guys play a show, though. Yeah, I remember, because um, it was after our bass player left, and JP joined the band. Yeah. Um, was it a house party? It was a house party. Yeah, That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Played a couple of Kalamazoo house parties. I, and I the Vine. <laughs> I, I remember that because, like, there was probably 50 people there at most, but it felt like it was a It felt like a thousand. Shit, yeah. like 50 people now, dude, you know? <laughs> yeah. Fucking hey, dude. 50 dude. people's. Yeah. Uh, that, that'd be all I'd hope for. That's kind of the target goal number for <laughs> listeners of this podcast. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're yeah. working yeah. our way up to that. Yeah. I know, you yeah. used to be able to play fucking house shows and hall shows and shit, and just like packed hall shows, yeah. man. Like and Palmer shit. Hall. Yeah, we used to do yeah. all that people shit. People wanted dude, to you know? do that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. People wanted well, it, it was, you know, it's kids, you know, yeah. whatever. Yeah, so, so that would have been... What were you saying around 2005 ish or something? Around like 2005. That? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fall 2005. Now. Yeah. Right on, right on. Yeah. So, what kind of places were you guys ended up playing? Did, there was like down there, there was like, did you ever play like Craft Brow? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You remember yeah. Craft And there Craft was the Club the, Soda. Club, Club Soda. Soda. I never played Club Soda, which was, it was kind of defunct by the time. Well, I was down there and I moved down there in 2002. So. I don't know. It seemed like it was not a thing when I was down there, though. So maybe two thousand two. Yeah, yeah. It was still. Yeah. It was kind of on its way out. Yeah. I think it depended on like what you were into, too. Like it. Right. Like, so, at that time, they're they're bringing in some pretty like. I remember uh, the Tony Danza tap dance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that was that was our first show at Club yeah. Soda. I went. I yeah. went to that show. That was excellent. It was my, excellent. Yeah, my old band played that show too. Yeah, Indrid. Yeah, you know? um, nice. I think, I think we opened. Uh, RIY did. Um, you guys played, and then yeah, Tony uh, Danza played. So. Yeah, yeah. 
It's a legendary awesome. show for me. Yeah. Next yeah. to Craft Brawl was that place called The Space. Did you guys ever play The Space? Uh, it was kind of like a coffee house. Like they didn't have booze or anything, and it was kind of this like smaller. We never did. Thing. Is that I did. Adjacent to the Hopcat now, or no? The, the Space. I think I saw two stars burning sun there once yeah. a long time yeah, ago. That tracks. I saw fucking, uh, you guys know the band Isis. Yeah. yeah. I saw yeah. Isis there. And you guys know the, like the kind of like they're actually we're on the same label, like a hip hop act called dialect or dialect yep. or whatever. Uh, they were touring together and I saw them. There was right after I moved down there and it was just like, again like just packed of fucking just like kids you know and like you know isis like i caught them a couple years later opening for tool you know and yeah. shit. i mean they they did well they were a sweet band i saw isis once they were amazing yeah they were really influential in that thing to that like doom like genre sp- i don't know what you call it atmospheric doom kind that's of thing, exactly you know what, what i was mean? gonna yeah. call yeah, it yeah. <laughs> and i sat there fucking talking to that dude from I'm, I'm not sure how to say it if it's actually said dialect or dialect because it's like a weird spelling uh but the, it's all on mike Patton's label is what that oh. was that ipecac label Ipecac, or yeah. yeah um so anyway i sat there talking to this motherfucker from dialect for like two hours after that show just like hanging out there so that's just a fond memory i had at the space yeah yeah because there was kind of like a coffee shop it was not unlike this up front there was just like books and a couple chairs and i just sat there fucking talking to that dude about music like forever so it was it was fucking sweet i can't remember where that place was it was like it was like literally like adjacent to craft brower it was like maybe it wasn't actually connected but it was like it was just like this little building that was like kind of like kitty <laughs> corner like craft brow was kind of like that tall skinny yeah. kind of yeah. and there was like this other little like almost kind of looked like a house or like was a it where train depot looking kind of thing think, or something i, I think if was you, it where water street is it's across. maybe so, so there's still a building that kind of looks like that. Yeah. And it's right like on the other side of Hopcat the, now. Oh, like the train tracks? Yeah, it's yeah, yes. Yeah. It's right the I like I'm place. bad with the fucking roads and shit down there. Uh, which Me is too. stupid because I live there for fucking ever. He still lives. Still lives there. You can't tell <laughs> yeah, you yeah, fucking road out there outside of I'm a landmark yeah. guy. I don't you, live live it, you live in Kalamazoo? Like names. Yeah. Oh, cool. Cordage, but... cool. Yeah, I lived there for about six years. So nice. that's where we moved down there and then uh, moved back here. But we're both from, I mean, you guys know, we're both from Fruport originally. Same. Uh, yeah, indeed. The port representing. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so then i mean then what you guys just start playing bigger shows and shit i mean how long were you guys doing it um so at the point where um jp and luke i mean you guys joined within a month or two it seemed like it seemed yeah pretty like pretty time. closely so it's like after that you know i think by that time the other guitar player myself and chad like we had a good like relationship on how yeah. to write music that we wanted right. and all that so when Luke and JP joined, um, you know, they were experienced with other bands, had, you know, well networked. So right, right, right. It, it felt like we kind of took off at that point. We, we started playing a lot more shows. Um, we, the ones we that did. made more sense, too. Like, yeah. instead of like, hey, let's go do an open mic night or let's, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah. to play, right? You know, yeah. Hey, there's 10 people there. Let's play in front of them. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, we we kind of took off uh, a little bit as far as like traction wise, but I mean, you guys had a pretty good base going. Like w- once we started playing like uh, a lot of like the Skunk's Nest shows and like regional shows, and then opening for like yeah, were you guys doing like the opening for yeah, major bands? I mean, thing, we like pay we, to play ticket yeah. sale, fucking model, yeah. and all that. Yeah, right. like Dahlia and Unearth right. Suicide Silence, nice. stuff like that. Yeah, I think Shit, Unearth- I might have seen some of those. I, I, I saw Suicide Silence like three times. So know. did we. Yeah, <laughs> I think Unearth and Walls of Jericho was like the first like big big. Show oh yeah, that. yeah. So, yeah, where were those? Where like what venues? intersection? Yeah, like yeah. doing that. Yeah, do you guys yeah. like play the Orbit Room? We, we never got to play the Orbit uh, Room. I was just talking about us somebody today. I got to play there like i don't know if it was like maybe three or four times maybe four times um it was by far the best stage that i ever got to play meaning like the, their actual like sound and their sound guy sounded good shit. up there and also it was just like a fucking old ass sticky rock club like mm-hmm. i got to play the old intersection once when i was 17 nice and which is like kind of now what mulligans really is that yeah. same bit but and i got to play the new one which is great the, the intersection fucking rules you know like it's killer 
spot to play but there was just something about the orbit room that was just like i don't know it just had the right mojo and shit but like i'm sad that it's gone just the right it. amount of bush light and the jacket on the floor. Yeah. You know, something yeah. real special you about stick that to the place floor. the ac didn't work you know the fucking like bowling alley fucking carpet, carpet. in the yeah. front and yeah. like yeah. saw so many fucking killer shows there man yeah, I was just telling uh, my wife, uh, I saw Slayer there. Ooh, it was nice. sick. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. It's crazy to think about how many fucking like amazing bands that would lo- that are like, you know, would never be anything less than a fucking stadium now. Yeah. Rolled through there. You know, there's like the legendary couple of tool shows back in the day there that like I know people know oh, wow. that and shit. And it's just like but there's a lot of that stuff it's like you know there's just like these bands that were just like yeah you could just like pay 25 bucks and go see like a band yeah. that now would cost 400 dollars to fucking see i'm know? pretty sure i saw slipknot there for ten dollars yeah exactly yeah ten dollars yeah yeah early crazy slipknot. fucking i know i didn't wasn't at these but my brother saw limp biscuit there a bunch of times <laughs> you know, when they were like you know it was it was like brand new you know what yeah. i mean like it's just like they're still they paying their dues stars you know yeah. like yeah it's fucking wild that's badass i miss those days of fucking like tickets being reasonable and like you know like metallica was just forty dollars to see him at the fucking the still an arena show or whatever, but it was just it was only whatever it was at the LC Walk Arena. It was forty bucks, you know. Yeah. Like it was all these fucking bands. Like now it's just you can hardly go to a concert anymore. It's fucking so expensive. Yeah, the, off. like the fees is a new thing too. It seems like yeah. or newer, right? And the scalpers. Yeah. And it's, yeah, like yeah, they're, well, they're, yeah, they're hitting it hard. Taking master, getting their grubby yeah. mitts on yeah, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. it's working. I mean still doing it people I, guess, it. I guess yeah i mean that's it's the one recession proof thing they say have do you guys follow the hard times you know what the hard times oh is? Yeah. yeah they they just had one today that was uh it was like electric bill now has ticket master fees attached to it <laughs> <laughs> i was like oh my god it's perfect like, what the fuck it's Why about is how it is thirty dollar <laughs> service charge from fucking ticket master <laughs> Yeah, I just looked at tickets the other day, and it, the fees, the tickets themselves were 59 a piece. With the fees were, I think, 35 on, yeah, yeah. on top the of it. The fees are like, what? Yeah. Like, yeah. These uh, nebulous fees, like, what yeah, are you guys yeah, doing? Yeah. Yeah. Clicking you five buttons. Yeah. You know, like, like, who's, okay. that, who's that money going yeah, to? It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's not going to the fucking... It's not going to the artists. That's the thing. Dude, it's like, not. Or that, the promoters or anything. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, yeah, it's the fucking artists. Like, people are like, oh, these fucking bands. It's like, it's not the bands, you morons, you know? Yeah. Like, it, <laughs> well, that's a, that's a fucking whole other rabbit hole, which I would definitely go down. Oh, for sure, man. You gotta, you gotta appreciate it. Especially, like, the bands that are still doing it. Like, yeah. Like, um, one of my favorites is uh, He Is Legend. Okay. Really good group. Put out amazing albums, and they're still just, I think the singer works, like, He's like a bartender when he's not yeah. playing. Like, yeah. So it's yeah. like, you know, I mean. There's a lot gotta, of that, you man. Get, you got to yeah. appreciate that stuff. Yep. I mean, it's he's putting out music that we appreciate. And yeah, like, so. yeah. Fuck, even Mastodon was just yeah. talking about not that long ago how, like, they're barely staying afloat, you know? And wow. I think of Mastodon as being, you know, a fucking they're a big band you know yeah. and they are a big band doing yeah. uber eats on the side just to make it yeah. like, yeah. they're fucking yeah. delivering in the tour bus you fucking <laughs> aren't they yeah. on tour with like lamb of god right now too probably they're on tour with everybody all the time the, that's what i'm saying is like yeah. even these big bands right the bigger you get the more overhead you have that's just business in general but and then man, merch like, cuts too yeah. exactly all of it exactly they're like we're barely staying afloat you know they bought which a lot of bands are doing now i don't know if you guys have noticed this trend about I follow a lot of studios and shit because I'm, I'm kind of obsessed with that stuff too. But a lot of bands now, I mean, this Metallica did this very famously. They buy their own HQ and then set up a recording studio and shit there because that's cheaper than going to commercial studios. And then you have uh, this home base and whatever. Fair. Mastodon did that. Tons of bad. Dream Theater just did that a couple years ago. Nice. Like it's So, I mean, obviously you got to be to a certain level to do that, but right i don't really even know what my fucking point is here is that it's just like <laughs> <laughs> the models are changing you know so it's yeah like, you know you you kind of like, have to have like an it's almost just like having an office if you're a business and you have your office space or whatever it's kind of like the same thing like you have this right. like building and shit and i don't know it's a struggle yeah. out there for fucking bands yeah, I, think, I think what you're saying is like even the best are you know changing their perspective and strategy yeah. to 
try to be they able to keep making money make right? money <laughs> yeah. enough to feed themselves like these guys like aren't rich like have yeah. like uh uh there's some fucking mastodon thing and they're at bill kelleher's house and it is no different or better than this house or any you know what i mean like these guys are not living like in mansions or anything you know they're just touring the world playing metal and just living in the fucking random ass how you know what i mean like oh, yeah, yeah the, it's not like motley crew used yes, to be like, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah th those days are long gone long gone you know yeah um so i mean how how long were you guys you how many records you make a couple records like what yeah we put out uh an ep and uh a few demos um stuff like that there and we go b-dub all over the fucking that's actually yeah. uh newer that's um well it's not newer but the the cover is um that's the luke you want to yeah that that's the oh, ep that's cool. that that's we the put out and then the other one is like a demo that we were tracking for our full length that we actually wrote a full length and we're getting ready to record it when we broke up oh yeah i know that pain kind of been there i right now have an unfinished album with the with my band that Dude, yeah. <laughs> is, you know it's yeah. rough but yeah. it's cool how long ago was that man 15 yeah it's the same, it's the same. I, think, I think that's sort of the life cycle of fucking bands in a way too is i think it was 2005 was the ep the first ep um was 17 years ago that was 2007 okay. and then the, the mosh demographic would have been 15 so okay i mean both old right very <laughs> very old yes yeah so you guys called it and then uh, what uh fucking decided you guys get back together i, I don't know man but i i remember like i was like my view my my story of this is uh i was down south visiting a friend who just had a, a baby because I lived down south for four years in between the, the band, no band. Um, and Chad sends everybody a text, hey, we should play another show. It's like, fuck it, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, you know, I don't, I don't yeah. know if it's because I was in vacation mode. I'm right, like, well, right. why not? Why not play a show that we Yeah, have? that's true. Uh, I think every, you know, we all have our own uh, story on it and stuff. But um, right. that's, that's honestly kind of the best case scenario is just being like, eh. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> there's no big story sure, like sure, yeah, uh, then, because playing fucking and, metal together is fun and, as fuck and yeah, why not you yeah, know and, like, and it's been cool like because like when when that first started it's like yeah it'll be yeah, let's just play a small show let's do you know let's have some fun with it yeah just like kick our name around the pond you know yeah, exactly like, and then like the first practice came it's like that was fun that was the shit yeah like, so let's play a real show like let's you know yeah let's, let's get a nice venue and um Let's make it worth worth the time that we're gonna put into this right how hard was it to knock the rust off like you guys just pick it back up and kind of roll oh, right for, off the bat for it was me, like, oh, fuck, we forgot to do this whole thing for me it was terrible i i mean <laughs> i hadn't i hadn't screamed in a microphone in over 16 years oh it's yeah, got to be oh, a man, use it or yeah. lose it type thing it too, was yeah, it was acclimated yeah. to yeah, it yeah, for yeah. Sure. it was tough for me for me personally yeah. these guys were all doing great <laughs> and yeah. there, and other stuff in the meantime i mean you guys i mean were um, you still like at playing stuff or doing other bands or so um with i wasn't playing in any other bands but i've always played like yeah I've got constantly like a, I've got like an anxious habit of i walk around my house oh there's my guitar i'll play it for yeah minutes, that's you know? the move dude leave you know? i always yeah. say to people leave guitars where you can grab them boom you know right. like yeah. put a guitar by the couch because you're gonna sit there and noodle it's, on it you i know? think it's good for you it's, it's a so, it's a fidget yeah. right like yeah um, and it's also great for your actual fucking guitar playing yeah you know like just yeah. having the guitar in your hand you yeah. don't have to be playing like playing but just noodling around you know yeah, just that, like that's that's my jam right yeah, there like yeah it's um, really fun so when it came time to to practice again and rehearse it was really down to just memorizing a couple things that i had forgotten but mm -hmm. um did you have to go back to the fucking songs and listen to the the a, recordings and shit and a, a little bit but for me the biggest thing has been because i left in 2007 so when riy like broke up broke up like i had already been out of the band for about a year and a half or so okay um true i did do the like the end the last show right like, yeah I'll, I'll come and jam um so between that time that i left and um, now 
um, RIY had written some more songs. So okay. since, since we've done this, you know, I've gotten with our uh, other guitar player, Parker. And you had to learn Oh, songs. you should have big time to be like, I'm not playing the new stuff, bro. <laughs> no. Yeah, not the best that. <laughs> Do the fucking Mike Portnoy in Dream Theater, going yeah. back to Dream Theater. Yeah, like, fuck you guys. It takes way too long. Yeah. To do <laughs> I'm not playing any of this bullshit, dude. <laughs> no, they're, they're cool. That's actually probably one of the uh, things I'm looking for forward to the most because they're good songs yeah the ones that i didn't write um and i've never played them live so i think that's gonna be fun nice so, right on right on um, but overall hasn't been too bad um like getting getting back into the uh, into the groove but since we've started i've been playing more of other shit like i've been learning more like blues been learning some uh, Steve Ray Vaughan stuff nice and, yeah so it's like overall, like a really cool thing. It's gotten me back into it. Yeah. I think when this is all over, I'd still like to play and yeah, find some other groups to, to jam with. Yeah, yeah. For me, I was driving around listening to those songs on repeat. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't even to be like that. Too. I had to yeah. re like literally read lyrics. Yeah, for and sure. be like, what was I saying right there? I can't remember lyrics. Now we, I just did this show and there's like songs we wrote a couple years ago and like. I, I had to fucking do the ipad thing i'm like i don't fucking i don't i, I wrote this and recorded it. i have no idea after that it's gone we never did it so i'm like yeah i'm gonna be that guy with the fucking ipad like the karaoke the machine because yeah, yeah. i'm like i wrote it recorded it and it was gone i have no True. fucking idea you know so like do you, yeah do what you gotta do though man <laughs> yeah i don't give a shit you know so whatever <laughs> I'm put a, to care you know like, put a teleprompter in the back that's literally <laughs> what it is it's like an ipad teleprompter it just scrolls the lyrics you know people give people shit about that and i'm like eh, i got so many songs in this fucking head dude you know what i mean i've learned <laughs> hundreds of songs through the years i can, you know like hey. i can remember the Soundgarden songs I learned when I was 12, but you know what I mean? But there's only so much hard drive space, dude. Like I can't right. like the new yeah. shit. I'm like, uh, like even if you think you'll, you'll remember all of it, it gets yeah. washed out. Like, yep. And like, and one day comes, like the day comes, you're like, what the fuck? Like I used to know that. Yeah. And it's, it's gone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> For sure, for sure. Yeah, I was actually just uh, listening to. I have Tools, my favorite band, but like, it's not like I'm like playing them every day. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and so like, I actually just threw on some Ten Thousand Days the other day. I haven't listened to it in probably a couple of years or something. And I was like, oh yeah, I kind of forgot. You know, like I used to know all these lyrics and shit. And I'm like, you know, it is weird how you fucking like lose things. You know, no better feeling though, because you're kind of rediscovering yeah, it. Yeah, you know, you yeah, take yeah. a little break from yeah. it. And it's yeah. an album that you've beaten up for hundreds of hours yeah, listening yeah. to and it's like oh this is pretty fresh and dope again you know yeah there's yeah. songs that you like i had on lockdown like sing i do a lot of just kind of like quasi karaoke singing just by myself like just singing along to records and like it's like <laughs> oh like i fucking love zz top and i do a lot of oh, yeah. top songs and like i'm like oh man i used to know and then like i was doing it the other day i threw on the playlist and i'm like i forgot like 60 percent of the words you know what i mean and these are not difficult songs as far as the words are pretty stupid you know have like, you seen that that uh speaking of easy top have you seen that meme that's like a young picture of them they're like standing out front of like a gas station no beards or anything yeah. but it just says easy top a young zz top looks like a midwest grind band <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. they do yeah, yeah, <laughs> like yeah, they could be a grind band yeah. today oh for sure yeah i Fuck just yeah. saw that earlier today yeah, thought, yeah, yeah right there. <laughs> oh man soak them in dude. i'm not sure dude, i can wrap my head guy, around a yeah. beardless top the guy on the right like he looks like a, a singer like yeah like crust punks that's dude. dusty yeah. hill man lusty dusty hill yeah. yeah all right they, he just passed away like two years ago yeah they're um so oh, you shit, hear like yeah. they're yeah. like the i was surprised and i was kind of frustrated that like i've never heard it before but i heard some of their like old old <coughs> stuff yeah way different than like the the classics that you're used to hearing yeah there's zz top's got air i mean well what's weird is like the the big hits of the eras yeah. like in the late 80s that's yeah. the anomalous stuff in a yeah. way even though that was their bigger hits on mtv and they hit it's it the bizarrest fucking thing. I was easy yeah. top hit on MTV at just the right time. I mean, they talk about there, there's this band. They're they're already old and bearded by that point. Yeah, they True. have zero sex appeal. How are they going to make a video? And that's where they came up with this concept of 
it's like a hot young couple and the band is kind of trying to like help this guy get laid they did those like three videos the famous videos with the car and the you know the thing and and all that shit so like it's just such a weird it never should have happened you know what i mean it's yeah. like this. i weird never really thing. thought yeah. about it like that it's yeah. pretty yeah. genius yeah. it really is yeah. yeah it is yeah they were uh fucking the the I know way too much about fucking the top. Uh, <laughs> fucking the drummer, Frank Beard, the guy without the beard, uh, was watching uh, MTV. It had just started. It was like, he was like, I watched it for like literally 12 hours and I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. There's like, there's this new format of, you know, this music, all music videos. videos. And like, so he's calling his manager. He's calling the guys, you know, like we got to fucking get something on this thing or whatever. And that's where they kind of like, came up with this concept of like you know like they're saying like how do you market this band that is already three old guys playing the texas swamp <laughs> blues you know and shit the original wingman really when you get right down indeed to indeed oh yeah, that's seriously. true yeah. that's true yeah i fucking love zz top man fucking upset. i i've i wear my zz top t-shirt like 90 percent of the time we're podcasting too. <laughs> they do jam man yeah they fucking they, rule they got some good shit i got to see them uh twice uh and now fucking dusty's gone and they got the other guys playing so it's not it's i mean it's still cool but it's kind of yeah. not the same they set the world record for the longest running band of all original members in oh, the uh, wow. guinness book of world records I think like 52 years or something like that are they yeah. uh still gigging yeah they're still going okay. like crazy he fucking died like not on tour he left the tour flew back home and died like two days later like while oh, they were man. on tour and he literally told him gig the give the gig to this guy it was like his guitar tech who'd been with him for 40 years or whatever and he's like the show must go on give the bass to this guy i gotta go home and recover or whatever but he, he didn't you know so oh yeah. man that sucks indeed love me some top though I, we could probably just talk about ZZ Top. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's pretty much all I want to do. I'll learn something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't know the top, dude, you don't, you know, you don't know shit. That's what I'm saying. No, uh, the, but then they did those records. Uh, not to seriously keep talking about it, but they did those fucking <laughs> records in the late '80s where they started bringing in all the synthesizers and shit, just like Rush did. Like all these, yeah. you know, it was the new toy. Yep. Right. So like all these bands that never were guitar bands. Fucking started, Van Hagar. Yeah. yeah. Like, yes, exactly. Right. Fucking Jump. Right. Yeah. You know, like it's a whole things on keyboards you know and then the solo but uh it's, it's just such a weird thing that these guys are this like traditional sort of like blues shuffle rock band kind of thing and then fucking just hit so hard with synthesizers in the 80s with these huge beards like i mean throw some cocaine in there you're a lot yeah, of right? cocaine bro a lot of jokes dude. an extreme amount of jokes yeah yeah so what's your fucking plan now i mean i see you guys are doing shows uh is is there one did i just miss one or is there one coming up no just one show yeah we got one show yeah um, it's uh is it at it's at bells, yeah, bells. okay that's what yeah. i'm thinking of yeah 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 it's yeah, uh, right there yep it's our one and only one night only show so uh, uh, okay yeah. wait do you, i thought you already did a show no guys oh, guy, okay. have been doing some shows yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um they've been out jamming man they're they're crushing it right now um, yeah no, I thought you guys had already done one, like some kind of a, like a, uh, I don't know, a warm up show, if like a one off or something. Yeah. No, we had we had talked about it, but it's just it, like logistically, it's just yeah. so hard Dude, to even for real. We're all like we we are fucking spread out through like the entire right. like, lower, lower mitten, right? Like right and upper. Yeah, <laughs> guys got guys upper, coming yeah. in from the UP. <laughs> well, like Chad, I I don't know, Chad's in yeah, Frank and Muth. Frank and Muth, you're right. in Mis you're in Muskegon. Um, and then the rest of us are in the Kalamazoo area, but right. you know, I mean, so you have five people, you know, three in the same town, two in different towns. Scattered, across, yeah. yeah. You mix that with families and oh, yeah, they, they, they all of us have kids. kids. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it's amazing that we've been able to practice like four times, like right. four or five times. However, yeah. we have. Um, How many guys in the band? Said five, five piece. Five yeah, of us. Yeah. Like the more guys you add in the band, the harder yeah. it is. Yeah, I'm doing a three piece thing, and I mean we're barely doing anything, and it's like it was almost impossible to do any rehearsals at all, even with three people. And yeah, like, we should get a tough. drummer, and I'm like, fucking guys, like we can barely <laughs> do this. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's it's brutal. It's so much fun. Like I'm I'm glad we've been doing it. I've been having a blast. Like it's, same, and it's like 
shit, like how do like how do you keep playing and all that? But it's uh, it's you know, life yeah. gets in the way sometimes. Hundred percent. Uh, yeah. yeah, but it is. This is I'm I'm a little bit in the same boat where like I didn't do any gigs for uh, close to fifteen years or anything. Just recording, just fucking around, no real band. But like doing something where you're actually playing in a room with some with people again yeah. i was like it's it like really feels amazing i was like i was like i don't even care if we'd like do right. the gig i was like this <laughs> is like it's so fun to just play these songs again you know? yeah so i was definitely feeling that and i'm assuming you guys probably are too i i that think that awesome. i don't know it's hard to say but it's like after the show i have a feeling we're all gonna kind of have a different take on it i think who knows it could change i'm thinking yeah. it's going to be fist fights after the show i'm thinking somebody's going to fuck up somebody's going to get punched in the face that's, <laughs> Damn. that's what i'm calling no. <laughs> i'm kidding <laughs> um i, I mean, hope it's I mean, not I'll me i mean i'll punch somebody in the face yeah <laughs> on stage, dude. one of my fucking favorite things is the fucking like on stage meltdown clips on oh YouTube yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's a shitty cover band and like the drummer throws a fucking symbol at somebody's head and fucking like, like the singer and the guitarist getting an actual like, fist fight like, on stage like, like don't you want to just be there at the show and be like you were born to do this yeah like, like, <laughs> The fuck out of <laughs> and that band became oasis <laughs> did uh let's take a fucking quick break it's a little early for a break but i want another drink so we'll take a we'll take an early break here oh yes all right guys we're gonna fucking talk about it we're gonna fucking get into it sure is anybody here a Lincoln Park fan? I uh, I think <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't. <laughs> I think, I uh, go ahead. I think like from me, the I was into Hybrid Theory like yeah ninth grade. Like who uh, <laughs> who the hell wasn't right? But uh, I wasn't. No, I, uh, <laughs> sort of. Since it's sort of true, I'm talking shit. But uh, I, they were one of these bands that like I liked. I love rock and metal i like rap but like the rap rock thing never yeah. really connected with me and obviously that was like the big fucking thing i think that's that, an era we can all uh agree to never yeah. speak of yeah. again yeah. yeah it's it's kind of I, embarrassing man sometimes. i was into yeah. new metal i don't give a fuck there's some new metal stuff i love there's some new metal stuff like i fucking hated disturbed at the time now i kind of oh, like so. disturbed more yeah. you know because i at least like their fucking record song i saw them at the show. orbit room too yeah yeah <laughs> well, you know, obviously the big fucking news here is uh, Lincoln Park is back, and they got a, a new lead and, singer. And everyone is the fucking lead singer, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, he watched the video. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll, we'll, maybe we can play some of the video here, but they, yeah. uh, you know, obviously they I, announced that they got this chick singer, uh, and she seems she. she I mean, she's really what's good. her What's her name? Emily something. I uh, probably should have. Is it Dickinson? <laughs> they got Emily Dickinson is the lead singer. Yeah, uh, I saw the video. Something like, that. something like that. Um, Emily Dickinson's that author. From I, was, I, I know. Okay. Uh, now that I said it out loud, I was like, wait a I second. I was confused yeah. at first because I thought, like, based off what I read, it's like, oh, she's the touring singer, but... Like, Emily they wrote, Armstrong. They wrote, Armstrong. They wrote yeah. new music with her and everything. So, so yeah, and they got they just announced that they're putting out a whole new album and everything. Um, so are they trying to do like the same stuff they were doing? Is well, it like yeah, a whole I mean, different it's, direction? It's like it sounds like, like it. Yeah. Um, they also have a new drummer, which I thought was interesting too. Which not not nobody cares about because they got a new lead singer from the. <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't but, think the drums ever really stood out. No, like, I know it's that's what <laughs> I'm saying. It's like yeah, nobody cares. They're, they're like there was a drummer. Uh, <laughs> so fucking <laughs> yeah they, they replaced john Bob yeah yeah but like uh for a couple things i mean like ever chester bennington was fucking good everyone was really nobody's good, disputing yeah. that that dude yeah. could fucking sing his ass off incredible yeah, like, voice like him or not he was a unbelievable he was awesome, unbelievable man. singer like and yeah. I, like part of my thing is like the only person who can sing like him is gonna be a girl his voice was so <laughs> crazy like high like he did have a really high thing, octave yeah that like it's like yeah i'm like yeah the, it makes sense that they got uh, a girl to do it because she's gonna be the only person that can actually fucking hit some of those parts um he did you guys ever see him sing for stone temple pilots 
No. He was no. the front man for Stone Double Pilots for like three years. We're, like, no way. Awesome. When? Yeah, yeah, he was. You, uh, 2012 ish. Yeah, was after, I just um, completely missed that. Yeah, it fucking ruled. Like, look it up. Yeah, it was huh. after. Um, I love Stone Double after Pilots. Scott, um, yeah. Indeed, when he was with the yeah, it was the Wild Velvet. Velvet. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. yeah, so it was like the Velvet, Velvet Revolver era. A kind it was, of it was after that. Okay, like, he had his yeah. own solo, like Scott Weiland and the yeah. Al- uh, the Wildabouts. Gotcha. He like OD'd yeah. in a bus. I miss he that was like too. fifty. Yeah. And then uh, yeah. And after that, um, Chester Bennington. What was it after that? Or I, I don't. know. The whole timeline's not super clear for yeah. him, but it was around there somewhere. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. definitely an era of Stone Temple Pilots. What I mean, they were just going out and doing the old songs. Chester Bennington, and you can hear it actually in his vocals. Was a huge fan of Stone Double Pilot. Oh, yeah. Learned to sing to those records, like you know, as I mean, as you do. You know, they've got STP's got just awesome shit that sticks I with everybody. I fucking it. love those <laughs> yeah. records, man. So do I. Yeah, and I mean, like, and so like he was a clear. He actually literally said in a magazine interview early in Lincoln Park days that it's like. I just want to be the singer for Stone Double Pilots. <laughs> so I made it's a it. good look. Yeah. Made it. Yeah. Core has yeah. got to be like a top yeah. 20 ish album for me all the time. Seriously. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's yeah. so good, man. Yeah. It sounds like she's doing an impression. Yeah. I mean, how do you, you how do you handle it, right? Like you got to be like true to what it was, but also put your own spin on it. Yeah. It, I think for her it's more about how she writes the new stuff. Yeah. Well, Let's talk about the new stuff a little bit. Do you guys listen to the new song? Do you guys I get didn't. a chance to, Some to of it, soak but it in? Like, ap- like, I honestly, didn't hear the after, new stuff. After Hybrid Theory, like I started, you know, as a being like, young in high school, I started venturing off to other music, and then I just kind of quit caring about Linkin Park. Yeah. <laughs> was, like, I was never <laughs> super into You in grew from, up. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I was too busy, you know, going down the rabbit hole of other music. But, yeah. You know, I was no, too busy no doing emo phase. No emo phase for Jason? Um, I liked emo, just... This I, I don't think Lincoln Park's Lincoln Park. Would you categorize <laughs> yeah. Lincoln Park? No, 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 no I'm not. Oh. oh, I guess you're saying. Um, yeah, the, so they got this new song, a whole new record, actually, which is kind of like kudos to fucking you guys, you know. They're a did, whole record. Some, yeah, they got a, it's a whole fucking thing, dude. They're back. Oh, with a whole shoot. new record, new video. They put out this live thing. Uh, yeah, they, they the they new wrote, singles they wrote out. New tunes. And yeah. Stuff, yeah. Wow. yeah. Uh, and the new song kind of sucks <laughs> not a fan it's, yeah. it's i mean uh, I, I respect like, i respect him for keep like keeping it going yeah and stuff. It, yeah and and it sounded like lincoln park right like overall like yeah it it did it was, it was kind of boring like, yeah like, it was pretty boring it was pretty cheesy my yeah. biggest gripe about it is like the lyrics are literally like cut me open something something and i'm like oh my god guys yeah, like, hate, seriously like we're come I, on we're, hate, we're still doing cut me open like i hate oh, like the, the lyrics like for for People that have made it, like Linkin Park, right? Like Mike Shinoda, guys who yeah. have made it and have taken care of themselves, they're still writing about like yeah. blaming, blaming others. Ang- like, yeah. like, Angsty like, stuff. Like, yeah. I'm just kind of like, 2024, right. guys. We're, yeah, we're about emotional like, intelligence. We're still writing the same <laughs> fucking yeah. cut my life into pieces riff. It's like 25 <laughs> years fucking later. Like, yeah. And it's like, you guys are a top tier band. Like, you should yeah. have, like, your lyrics don't have to be like, fucking like, Shakespeare masterpieces, but they should be at least be like, like pass your wisdom down. Like, what, yeah. you, what you do yeah. in your It should life. just not be <laughs> cheesy. That's like yeah. my biggest thing. It's like, just don't be fucking cheesy. This know? is why so Cobain cheesy. checked out. It is, indeed. <laughs> Too soon, beat up. Too soon. Sorry. Did you guys see the fucking? <laughs> the, did you guys see the shotgun bong? And somebody, see if you can oh, find it. Know, somebody yeah, the shotgun bong. Yeah, I watch. think I know. I think I know what you're talking it's about. It's like the Kurt Cobong. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, I did see That's that. That's pretty well played. Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta give it to the yeah, character. Yeah, really do. Is Linkin Park a band that has enough staying power, like resting on the laurels of back in the day? Like, does anybody care about this reunion? I'm not being a smart ass. No, yeah, it's, question, it's a huge. A lot of dude, people like, do. Like, it sounds like it, shit, dude. Yeah. Yeah. No, and, and I think I think yeah. you'll know for certain in like three to six months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, people are stoked that it's happening. Yeah. You know, like I uh, mean, you could make an argument. They've got to be. They're. 
right up there with the biggest bands of that yeah. specific oh, yeah. like five to sure. ten years yeah, span. Yeah, yeah, sure. you, you can, can appreciate yeah. them. Right? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what the, like when you asked if I was a fan. I guess I wouldn't call myself a fan, yeah. but I can appreciate Same. it for yeah. what it is. Yeah, and I can respect those guys' talents. And I mean, like their records sound good. And I mean, like, like that dude can fucking sing again. Like he's just he was killer. But yeah, it always like blew my mind. Like I remember it was after Hybrid Theory, and they came out with the I forgot what, was it Meteora the next the second album. I think album? so. I yeah. think so. And yeah. the, the first hit off that, like I watched a whole like like thirty minute session on them. Like they're like, it took us nine months to write the song to like decide what we wanted. Nine and months. Exactly. I was like, yeah, and it's- wow, like. Cut me open. <laughs> it's all right, like, dude. Everybody I mean, quiet. Quit like, cutting people open. Like, you're mostly yeah. distraught. Yeah. I can do that, dude. I can do that. Give me a knife. I can do that like yeah. two like, seconds. Immediately. But, uh, <laughs> but it's like, I'm like, in a, in a, during the time, I'm like trying to build my chops on the guitar and everything. I'm like, what fucking took nine months to do there? But yeah, you know, I think I think the I programming. Think they, I, I think they got hung up on like Indeed. the the song. Like they had just released like a album, right? That like fucking probably sold yeah it's hard to follow that up i mean the the sophomore slump or the sophomore curse is a very real thing it is i think that's where the nine months came in yeah at the at the time i mean the black album took nine months too yeah there's a lot of albums that take nine months if it fucking rules it rules you know but it's like yeah uh you know i don't know but like it didn't knock me off my socks like you know you have have some really simple songs like uh blink 182 though every time those guys release something it's like that's a fucking jam and it took like two yeah. weeks to write the whole album right right, right, right right yeah 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 i don't know so i definitely like i can't like i'm I, i'm not a, such a fan that i like have a huge opinion but i didn't think the new single was all that spectacular yeah. so i guess we'll see what the the rest brings and i'm just trying to like keep up on it a little bit but i mean it's a it's a big deal out there the fucking oasis or you know i was joking about it earlier man people are psyched on that too i was never that's where really yeah, people can get indeed. behind it if you're not a fan of oasis you got no place <laughs> you got no quarter dude. yeah i do love oasis <laughs> yeah i would I love do. to go to those shows fuck man. oasis yeah. sneaky yeah. choice band oasis is underrated man dude, they're, 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 they're not underrated people love oasis dude yeah, for yeah. sure yeah oh. I, I wouldn't call them an underrated by no, band you know, by any means. No, no I never got not. into it. I don't know. It never really like they got tracks, the man. Yeah. 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 I, What's the story? They're Morning nothing but yeah. hit after yeah. hit. They're like, nothing but one point five hit wonders. I mean, you got two yeah. hits right here, dude. I mean, Wonderwall is enough for a fucking one and a half. Yeah. They got one and a half <laughs> bangers. So. Yeah, we're gonna What's play Wonderwall Wonder again. What were the other ones? Fucking, uh, there was the Don't one. Don't look on back the, in anger. Yeah, yeah. There was I that, like that second one, record yeah. that where they started getting more rock and kind of like yeah. those adding in some electronics. But and more shit. importantly, like they they will host one hell of a bar fight, and that's all. yeah, exactly, <laughs> that's exactly right. Yeah, yeah. Bunch of like, Liverpool wankers yeah. going out, beating the Christ out somebody's of each other. Gonna get fucking yeah. Somebody's fucking getting knocked out at an Oasis show. They don't sound like rock stars, but they act like it. Yeah, indeed. It's I always thought too. that was cool. Like hearing about it, I'm like, those guys. That's pretty. Indeed. I, I just gotta say, like we we announced we were reuniting first, though. So <laughs> they should be opening for you guys, is what I'm thinking. I'll fight everybody in that band. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> bring them on one at a time. Did you lean into a girl too hard? Up- <laughs> <laughs> I do like how Oasis too. They're just like, are any of the other original members coming back? No. No. Yeah, those guys actually. Uh, I did catch some of their both of their kind of solo efforts through the years. Uh, I get them mixed up, but the singer I thought his was fucking really good. Uh, He's the main Liam, singer. right? Yeah, Liam's the yeah, singer. Yeah, Noel's so. the guitar yeah. player. Yeah. yeah, Liam had a band there that was. Uh, it was pretty kick ass. I thought it was fucking really good. He said he was going to be uh, his dream band was yeah. to be writing. Uh, songs like slipknot there you go what? Yeah. yeah that's a stark departure yeah. from uh, we need to get the gallagher brothers in masks and just <laughs> fucking i feel like there's enough resources between those two bands to make that shit happen oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah indeed, go, indeed. let's do it yeah that's the mashup the people it's fucking demand it's just gonna say yeah. literally yeah. say god <laughs> sorry man <laughs> <laughs> yeah for real yeah so that'll, that'll be interesting we'll see what 
about the fucking oh my other thing is too is i'm gonna start a band you guys want to start a band with me it's gonna be called linkedin park linkedin you guys, park. Start, you guys want to start linkedin park with me sure that's that's career. Shabby, that's yeah, so the seo is yeah. just fucking off the fucking charts dude <laughs> talking mad fucking misspellings in the google search dude. <laughs> just, a, just a band of fucking professionals you know yeah dude just wearing fucking ties and like short sleeve white t-shirts and that would actually be a pretty fucking funny band dude it would be kind of funny yeah like, like if a, you like if you like if you were a uh, cover band for Lincoln Park, man, fucking why not LinkedIn Park? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, when I have a little, uh, little hashing out to do. I'm thinking counting so- Russell Crowe's might be the way to go. I don't know. <laughs> that, that might be the move. But. Yeah. All dressed up like Gladiator. <laughs> <laughs> Fat as fuck. Oh, you not <laughs> oh man. Uh, did we talk about that fucking Russell Crowe movie the other day that I fucking uh, watched? The, uh... The f- Exorcist, Omen, fucking Exorcist, water, whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you saw guys, that? Did you guys catch that? It was bad. It was pretty bad. Wasn't it? <laughs> his, it was what so was bad. the worst part about it was his accent. I thought, yeah, like I, his fake accent. I thought my take on it was Russell Crowe. I thought was actually really good, but the rest of the movie sucked. I but, mean, the I whole mean, thing was yeah. bad. It was, but yeah, it was. It was arguably bad. It was just bad. The <laughs> accent was terrible. What movie was it? It's called. The Pope's, the Pope's Exorcist. Exorcist. Yeah. 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 Oh. Jesus, it's 400 Didn't they make of two of them? <laughs> they definitely are making another if they didn't make another. I, mean, I it, think it the was other one's out. Like a sequel. Like it was so good, they're going to make it part two. <laughs> they, yeah, well, I think they were playing. They totally set it up to be like, now we're going to go around the world and exercise. Uh, yeah. The, the, the fucking Tugger from South <laughs> so <Park>. many exorcisms. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Russell Crowe would say, Oi, Tugger, it's me, Russell Crowe. I mean, I love me a good <laughs> horror flick, but like the whole exorcist genre is kind it's of beat up out. to death, man. Yeah. Like we yeah. get it. There's yeah. a child, said child is possessed. possessed. Yeah. Demon is exercised. The, the end. Let's call it a day. Or the kid yeah. or guy, whatever. The, uh, he was literally like, you're all going to die down here. It was like the literal fucking lines from the exorcist. Mm-hmm. The actual, like, I'm like, this is like, yeah. like come on, guys. You're, you're yeah. just using the same script. It's kind dude. of a good well, movie. Let's go ahead and rehash <laughs> the superior version <laughs> Indeed, of this movie Indeed. for sure. <laughs> Let's run it back. Yeah. They also had the scream mask in the preview, so it seems like a weird. I don't think movie. that was it. I don't know what that. Unless that's the second yeah, one. That was, that was not, a bunch of different clips. Okay. Uh, the the first. There was well, a Nicholas Cage Russell Crow the Exorcist movie, so that's what you get. It was right on the side, but whatever was playing in the preview there, maybe they did make a sequel because it was. They did. Yeah. I swear, there's a sequel yeah, that adds up. Because I don't know if it's like out out, but oh, uh, this is best of 2023 or something dubbed. That's why you're getting. Oh, this. okay. Yeah. Talking about Matthew Lillard. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it is Lillard. Yeah, it's it's oh totally my fucking, God. Yeah. yeah, the Pope's Exorcist was fucking terrible. The years I don't know have not been kind this to Lillard. Yeah. <laughs> um, what was the other fucking thing? Oh. Uh, you guys, Opus fans. I mentioned. I mentioned at least to you. You were like, I didn't remember they were even a band. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I haven't heard anything about that band in years. Yeah, yeah. I'm a pretty big Opus fan, especially of, uh, of a certain era. Opus has. They're they're literally now entering their fourth era right now, which is. I I respect that that they're still fucking going strong or what or at least going, uh, but they're, uh, the <laughs> second era right there <laughs> the, where it was like they're still making music. Yeah, so that's yeah, something yeah. Yeah. where it was like still it wasn't just death metal where they really kind of brought in all the more melodic stuff and like they they made those like four like some records jazz right in a row fusion type shit with heritage and so that's kind of wild the, stuff. That's kind of like the third era, but the second era of the uh, Ghost Traveries and Blackwater Park and I love that shit. Is that, that like the shit. really like kind of like uh kind of droney and i i it's call it like droney, sleepy yeah. metal it's kind of it's okay. kind of there's it's it, there can be especially in the earlier part of stuff it was very like six eight riffs just like really like, like it is kind of droney but then they then like they got very melodic yeah yeah and they were really combining like death metal with I don't know, prog rock, basically. Like prog, Dream Theater you know, right. type, yeah. like, like a heavier yeah. Dream Theater yeah. almost. Are they, Steve are they Wilson s- produced a bunch of those records, too, yeah. from Porky Prime. Are they Swedish? Yes. That's right. Yep. Okay. Uh, so that's one of my favorite. They get, they did a record called Ghost Reveries, which is one of my favorite albums of all time. And the follow-up to that, again, there's like these four records in a row, or five maybe, that they did that are just like, again, of an era of a certain band that I just love. And then after that, they went like full 70s prog. Like, okay, yeah. Kind of like 
I mean, like literally like Genesis style prog, like, you know, jazzier, no screaming vocals, which generally I'm fine with, but he's one of the guys that I love his fucking growls and shit. Um, That era, which has kind of been the latest era is it's cool, but it's not really my favorite. It's one of the, like, I listened to a record maybe it gets played twice you know what i mean it's not like it kind of like power pentagram ish uh i don't know maybe i don't i'm not i'm not f- super familiar with them it's it's very 70s prog like you know he sits wearing bell bottoms and shit like you know. you're kind of damned if you do and damned if you don't as an correct. artist because yep. like you've got your fan base that grew yep. to love you based on xyz sound yep, yep. Then you go into new sound. Yep. And people like love it, hate it, whatever, but it's like yep. it's not the old thing. But then yeah, if you keep right. doing the same <laughs> shtick like, over and over, thing, yeah. a la Linkin Park, yes, and you get uh, shat yep. upon like we yep. just did 10 yeah. minutes ago, right? Yep. So it's like, what the fuck? Yeah, are you, you, gotta, you gotta like taper into something. <laughs> yeah. Into some new stuff or. You're right, man. All yeah. bands struggle with that yeah. for sure. I mean, even fucking, you know, Metallica. But it seems like the bands that actually do have staying power like opeth i mean they're still out there i've seen them a bunch of times even recently yeah you know they're still putting out records and they're still out there doing it and have like a good fan base and, and shit. fairness if you're a swedish metal band staying power is kind of inherent is it not like you, eh, you can kind of do swedish no wrong bands, with that, dude. Dude. i don't know there's some pretty terrible swedish metal bands so what's this new stuff sound so, like so their this new is era kind of cool so they're kind of entering what i'm what i'm going to call the fourth era of opeth and a big part of that is they have a different drummer now they've gone through a couple drummers a uh, couple couple lineup changes in general in that band but the new drummer is a little more similar to not their previous drummer but the drummer before that of the <laughs> era that i love who is now the guy from do you guys know the band sewing yeah it's mm-hmm. so sewing you know sewing yeah s-o-e-n nope it's a fucking killer drummer so in rules know. yeah they're kind of they're pretty toolish they're okay. up that kind of thing. They're also Swedish, I think, or something English, maybe. The, yeah. You got to at some point. You got to get into the infamous shitting on Soen story <laughs> and being called out by Soen. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, when Soen was kind of first breaking, uh, I wasn't shitting on it, but I commented on their fucking thing. This is like when Facebook was kind of new, and I was like, eh, "These guys are cool, but they're pretty much just a Tool ripoff." And then the basis for Tool, or sorry, the basis for Soin was like, "Hey man, <laughs> fuck you, man." We're way more than like, I was like, "Oh, oh." <laughs> it's like, ah, eh, fair enough, sorry, dude. You know? Meet up. Can you pull up the first album cover for Soin because you you need look no further than they, just they yeah. rule. They rule. They do they fucking rule. But it's a blatant Tool ripoff at first, yeah. and then they kind of also it? started going. Which S O E? I'm like, I'm like, no, no, no. I've been ripping off Tool for, you know, I'm like, I'm like, don't take that as a bad thing. That's a, my entire music career. Like, no, all the choices tool. bands are ripping yeah, off yeah, Tool. Yeah. For sure. uh, so this new fucking Opeth though is sort of like, it's still kind of got the '70s kind of like proggier sound as far as the actual record and stuff. But he's brought the death metal growls back. It's this crazy fucking like concept album about like he said he wrote it kind of like watching that uh succession succession show wow yeah, okay. it's called the last will and testament so it's about like infighting in a family and whatever and like hmm. it, I, there's two songs out it's Illuminati. fucking crazy every song is just called paragraph one paragraph two paragraph three so there's not even like song titles <laughs> which is pretty fucking sweet they trim down the marketing budget <laughs> to the earlier point you know bands just start making what they used to you know they gotta so anyway i fucking i'm excited about it. it's the it's the new opus that i'm excited about that i haven't been excited about since literally five albums ago okay know? so like uh and it's crazy musically like i've listened to the first song maybe four times and i'm like still kind of like i only marginally know what's happening here like it is <laughs> bizarre, like it is a, like it's it's awesome but like holy fuck, yeah there's tons so you of like pick on. something yeah. up new every yes, time here it is yeah. extremely dense stuff. which that's my favorite part about like prog rock and i mean like that was like when i first got into dream theater it was like that i was 13 years old going i have no idea what's happening right now you know what i mean so that could be that was the same fun. when i heard dream theater yeah. yeah one of my uh like early i can't remember it may have been in seventh or eighth grade, but uh, scenes from a memory that album. Yeah, I heard that. I was like, "Whoa, yeah, what the same. fuck?" Like, I think this yeah, is we're the same. Like this is talented musicians right here. Yeah. So 
I think I caught that in eighth grade for the first time with it, no yeah. frame of reference. And it would have been what uh, the seventh grade is this? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, good album. I still have yeah. it. It's awesome. That's the fucking one for Dream Theater. All time. I love Dream I mean, Theater, really but I also good. was talking about cheesy shit. I call. I literally call them cheese theater because half their shit's oh, fucking it, it cheese is. balls. Yeah, fucking. It's, 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 it's like <laughs> it's super cock rocky. Yeah. At least with their singer. Yeah, it's. I was trying to think of what I was listening to in eighth grade, and I think I was only listening to hip hop. Yeah, yeah like rules. gangster rap. Yeah, insane clown posse. Think, think like, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, like Luda, Luda Luda I don't even really think they were grade, out so. much for me. They were for that us. Was the early stuff oh, was yeah. it? Oh, I mean, yeah. So you're you're like my age, aren't you? Yeah. Forty four. Yeah, I'm forty. So you're my you're my brother's age. Oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, that would uh, for sure would have been very much the icp they even fact the that would have been like, the juggalo heyday that would have been riddle box the heyday and yeah. fucking, you know yep. then fucking like, carnival of chaos yeah then fucking talking uh, malinka <laughs> have, you ever, have you, ever seen, malinka. you ever seen icp yeah i saw icp twice and uh my infamous story was i saw him at the delta plex here and oh. uh i went it was it was just after my 13th birthday and it was my dad it was me and uh andy inglot one of our good friends and my dad dropped us off and uh my story about it which i've told several times in here so i'll give you the abbreviated version but you know they throw a fucking fago ship and it was back when two liters had the big plastic thing on the bottom of the two liter oh yeah you remember how two oh, liters oh yeah big big additional black. piece of yeah plastic. A a so that <laughs> high quality american <laughs> two liter like a 1950s yeah. Yeah. automobile seriously yes <laughs> yeah, fucking way too yeah. like this two liter yep. will last the entire yep. three days <laughs> <laughs> this thing's not decomposing <laughs> for decades <laughs> yeah. it's Millennium. gonna be in that fucking land oh, for you yeah. guys drink your two liters over two days we're in the Midwest. Yeah. <laughs> it was Vago, dude. And it was, it was actually, what's funny about it, it was it was almost kind of after that era of the two-liter, but Fago was still rocking that because it's Fago. You know, they're yeah. like the fucking... Yeah. Holding it down. They're for the people. people. Yeah. They're for yeah. the people. Yeah. 99 cents. Yeah. It's so the people. So the the, fucking, the down song too, cuts. Sure. It drops to black. The song cut, the lights drop, and he had just fucking shaggy toed up and just fucking launched a two-liter. <laughs> and... And the lights cut, and it caught me in the fucking eye. The body, and it was a half full, and it was root beer. And it, like it caught me in the eye, fucking hurt, and but it was so fucking hot that I grabbed it and was like, oh, was like, oh. that was one of the craziest shows I've ever seen, though, because at the before the show started, people were like lighting their shirts on fire in the Delta Plex. There was like. You're like on the floor of a venue and there's like fires. Like <laughs> like it's Woodstock. Yes. It was like, what the fuck? And we're 13 and we're just going, <laughs> you know, just like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. Right. I actually kind of, uh, I definitely have a soft spot for ICP though. I mean, they, they haven't done anything really good in a long time, but those <laughs> records kicked ass, dude. I, I saw them once. It was, yeah. it was fun. Yeah. There was some special on netflix about them about uh um, yeah like when the fbi investigated them <laughs> oh, oh, wow. yeah. uh, called them gang members i never, yeah. on, like, gang I never yeah. watched it i was the like terrorist the, watch yeah, list the, the yeah. juggalos were added yeah. to the fucking yeah. that's incredible yeah. that's, that's, that's a good list. that's, that's good. life goals man <laughs> 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 have you guys seen the uh government money well spent man. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys <laughs> seen <laughs> in fairness that's a scandalous population as hell the clip on uh when they were on your mom's house and they just kept saying you know what i'm saying no and they edited it all together and that. it's like almost 10 minutes of them That's just going saying, <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> what Jay. i did see was them talking about the guy that tattooed the fucking yeah the face tattoo the, face the tattooed. woman face tattoo oh, yeah. the juggalo yeah. face yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. oh like, wow like, and they're like why yeah. would you do that yeah. <laughs> the icp guys are like you fucking idiot like how like, are you gonna get a job now uh, it's just like because it was <laughs> choice <laughs> next question yeah. 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 that, yeah. that guy's going it ruined my life you're like you think tattooing the juggalo <laughs> yeah, dude, it's not a good look, man. Yeah. You know, it's like at the time I weighed the pros and cons. Uh, <laughs> it was gonna work out yeah. in my favor. In retrospect, yeah. it was it was might a very not dark the wisest decision. <laughs> <laughs> but the Carnival of Chaos was lit. Yeah, yeah. This guy's I, uh, applying for like the CFO like job go. at Pfizer. He's like, oh yeah, I've uh, got my accounting degree from uh, Stanford. <laughs> yeah, indeed, indeed. Yeah. I'm doing really well in the stock market now. Uh, I wish we would have been able to go to the Prime Carnival of Chaos in the day. Uh, I knew somebody who went, and uh, she said that it was uh, 
Are you talking about the gathering? Yeah, yes. The, the gathering yes. of Juggalos. Yes. Sorry. Carnival of Chaos was a local thing, but that was their first album, right? That's why I'm getting it mixed up. Yeah, uh, it was. They, they, apparently, though, they had the like the best run like organization of like any like festival and like record company because it's all self-run and yeah, whatever it's all you know, diy so psychopathic yeah, records psychopathic get yeah, your ass a, kicked I mean, get your ass kicked <laughs> the greatest their, mar- of all time. their marketing game was yeah, yeah. fucking next awesome. level well, remember yeah. they used to release every album and every album was a joker card yeah, yeah. so yeah, like yeah. the great malenko when they got popular and dip people, my nuts yeah. in your soup Bloop. <laughs> that's when they got popular yeah. that was their second joker card no, no, and that kept... was the fourth joker card son what's he talking about oh, yeah. Two. Yeah. 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 anyway, anyway the, the point is, the point is that they had what six joker six joker cards and when they release the six joker card they tell you that their real intention and that the secrets of juggalo no it's supposed to be the end of the whole yeah yeah did you actually listen to that album yeah so at the last track of the last joker card album they say we're all about God. We've always been about it. It's a Jesus pro Jesus song. I did not catch that. That's the the gods of ICP. It's about money. Oh my God! The ghost of big money hustlers, <laughs> dude. Damn. <laughs> Damn. ICP was about Jesus this whole time. Yeah, just so you know, no. this was a that was the whole thing. I think spoiler for anyone who hasn't listened to all yeah. of the Joker cards. I think you had that shit rigged, man. <laughs> <laughs> you knew we were going to talk about ICP. <laughs> you had some tribe taped up to that bitch. Yeah. It's either Cardi B no, or ICP. No, no. Take your pick, or Justin Timberlake. That's, the funniest that shit was funny. they did. They did the second round, dude. You know about the second round? They dealt out another hand. They dealt out another hand. They're talking about the what? fucking second. Was Round of the Joker's <laughs> yeah, was, that the, was that the magnets? Uh, it's, on, it's somewhere in there. Yeah. Magnets, the man. How do they work? That was my favorite, <laughs> dude, dude. favorite part so of good. ICP. That was, that was great. A that whole was so awesome. song. So good, dude. A whole they song. They literally did it up Christian style. They're like, yeah, the end of the world, absolutely, without question, is going to be this date. Yeah, yeah. And the six <laughs> Joker card drops are like, yeah. psych. Yeah. They hit everybody with a knot. And they're like, like the, no, no. The CGI and the... What what was the song with the magnets? Uh, wasn't it I called Magnets? I only knew no. that one line. I thought that was just like one line. No, in some no song it's the whole song. It was miracles, right? Miracles, yeah. 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 like like the like the the CGI in that total fucking Christian song, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it. it's right oh, there. Man. We go. Uh, Soak it in a little bit. <laughs> miracles. How do magnets work? It's a miracle. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> ICP rules. This so shit is, it might be the dominant video I've ever seen. Right. <laughs> it's just good. So they're coming on the pod next getting week. Me pissed. <laughs> Solar eclipse and vicious wound. It's all that's found in. Water, fire, air, and dirt. Fucking magnets. How do they work? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking magnets. Yo, who the fuck is lying? <laughs> Scientists lying and getting me pissed. together and I love my mom for giving me this. Time on this planet, take nothing for granted. I seen the caterpillar turn into a <laughs> <laughs> Yes, the juggalo club. Just like Shaggy. Alright, that's <laughs> enough. I take back every good thing I ever said about it. You see me I just cringe so hard. Back to well. SNL had a, a parody on that with like Bobby oh, yeah. Bobby Moynihan. No, I didn't yeah, catch that. It was cool. great. Dude, dude, it was funny, like the uh He's like my kid. What do you say? He's like my two kids look just like his. Yeah, his. Looks, yeah. looks just like his him. His two kids look just like you know. Yeah. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that's, that's fucking wild. Are you guys uh, Eminem fans at all? He was like Eminem. Um, I I respect Eminem. I think he's extremely talented. He's definitely probably the best rapper right. that I've ever seen. Yeah. But I never put him on. It never, it no, just he never like the hits. Him, I man. just, it, I get it. It yeah. doesn't do it for me. Right. I got mad respect. It's, yeah. it's similar in a lot of ways to. Yeah, I would actually. never rap battle. It kind of is. Yeah, no, you don't want to do that. No. That's bad. Never. <laughs> I've seen Eight Mile. It didn't end well yeah. for Captain America. I'll tell you that. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I like, I'm more he into might it be now. one of the greatest ever, but just for sure. Why is like 
hip hop's a thing for me that it's just got to hit. Like, I don't want to think too much about it. I just want to hear something that sounds good. Rock, completely the opposite. Like, I yeah. like that layered sound. Substance, give me prog yeah. rock. Give me, like, a, an onion I got to peel back, so to right. speak, for the lamest cliche ever. Hip hop, I just want to have fun and listen to it. Yeah. And the lyrics are outstanding, but just the flow and the execution, like. It just kind of. No, I like it. it for I like it. No, but I get, he's got that yeah. very thing. Like, did you guys ever see Chris D'Elia making fun of him? Yeah. He actually, Eminem put oh, yeah. that bit on. On his CD, I mean, like he thought it was hilarious too. Yeah, didn't, didn't he I put him? Let's play him and play him and or whatever that <laughs> shit. Dude. Didn't he put him on? Uh, he put him in the video too, didn't he? Probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he like put yeah. put on a video. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Chris slam and a blam and a whatever yeah. the fuck. And then he turned out to be a creep. An abortion and a divorce at the same time. They hear it's the Ford and that's it. What am I planning? Why you panicking? And you're looking and staring at mannequins. And I'm going to Fanakins trying to get up a Fanakins. Fanakins, 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 Fanakins,
Good job, the, Parker. So, and then yeah. the best photo that's on your Instagram account. Chad. Chad. Yeah. Chad Chad's the fucking man, dude. He Chad is. is the man. I just I, I couldn't go this whole podcast without expressing my deep love he wanted, for Chad. He wanted to he be wanted here. Deep Chad. love. You yep. son of a bitch, where why don't you come on, man? Yeah, Chad. Yeah, he, he had to do adult shit. Yeah, he's know? got a family. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's got, a teacher. Whatever. He's a school teacher. You Everybody know, named Chad. I just taking care of his community. No big deal. <laughs> he lifts a lot of weights now. Yeah. Nice. He's also the sweetest human being I've ever met. He is a sweetheart. He is a real Chad. He's yeah. jacked right now, too. <laughs> Isn't Chad kind of one of the ones that they kind of tried to do with, like, Karen for guys? Yeah. They, they were doing Kevin, I think, for a while. I mean, Kyle's. Chad's, Chad's an internet Kyle, meme yeah, was of, like, was, a, yeah, a tall yeah. cut, good-looking guy. Yeah, okay, is that what it is? Yeah. yeah. He's a real Chad. <laughs> <laughs> and Chad is, like, he's one of the most annoying people because every he's literally good at everything that's the thing like i keep telling people i'm like i'm like my chad isn't a good drummer he's a pro drummer and he's a good singer good guitar player for fun he's been doing his own tracks all guitar bass drums all by himself just for fun and i'm like listen to it and i want to cry and go why did i even try at this (laughs) and it's it's not even just instruments it's everything yeah he's an excellent singer too have you ever bowled with him no, like that. <laughs> it's, ridic- it's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. He's one basketball, of those guys. yeah, bowling, <laughs> cooking, like, like everything. Yeah. People the are the does. goddamn worst. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, just like I'm. 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 Especially when they're humble mission. and nice about it. <laughs> it's my mission to find something that so I am better be at than him. Yeah. I kind of like want to like hand walk him into a physics class and be like, dude, just go fuck these. <laughs> <smart> <laughs> <fish out." laughs> he just go. Matt Damon in the movies <laughs> solving the fucking. Bad apples. Like every, nice. He's like everybody know that you don't fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. So I, I know there there was uh there was somewhere we were playing um a show somewhere, I think it was in Lansing, it was in a gymnasium, and there was this other band that was shooting hoops and I was just like, Hey Chad, you wanna play basketball? And he was like, Sure. He goes over there and just like drains a three. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? So dude? I you know, I played I before, I'll give it a try. <laughs> oh, I've never done this before. White men can't jump. <laughs> He's done <dunks>. threes, but <laughs> can't Dr. Jump. J from the free throw line. <laughs> yeah. I had, uh, I had my greatest moment of my life, probably from Chad. I went to one of the shows. He was singing for this band i don't know if you guys remember lee uh, the butcher, lee the butcher in the yes gang slaughter. yes he yeah. was a lead singer so he's he asked me to come out to a show in south haven as soon as i get there with larry he stops the show stops singing jumps down gives me a hug then jumps back up on stage and keeps singing <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Dude, you made me feel so special like you have no idea how much that meant to me nice. yeah. he's still talking about it indeed <laughs> i'll never forget it yeah. it's kind of, before he goes to bed i wrote my picture it. of chad like wolverine yeah. <laughs> yeah, he'll, he'll text oh. me like songs that he writes and i listen i'm like man that is that's fucking good like and then i'm thinking about what am i doing yeah. <laughs> i'm playing I'm jam- video games i'm jamming i guess yeah, indeed i'm not writing cool songs but i'm yeah. jamming <laughs> <laughs> still counts no, that's awesome. Yeah, I'll have to fucking link up with him at some point. We we've had we had a string of drummers on for a while. It was like a thing. So yeah, maybe we got to get that going again. Got to bring fucking send any for back on. It's, it's the <laughs> last drummer in the Michigan area that we haven't had yeah, on the show. Yet. Yeah. We had a Who is it? Cycle here. Chad. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know him. I'd like to meet him. We'll bring him on. Yeah, we had a fucking yeah. solid string of like a month and a half of like every fucking drummer. <laughs> have you guys had Dane on? Uh, I guess not. So, oh, not, yet, uh, not yet. Not yet. Really awesome dude. Okay. Very solid, solid yeah. dude. Sick. Yep. All the dice uh, guys are for yeah, sure. Right, right now. Uh, you guys want to take another fucking break here? Sure. Yeah, I gotta yeah. take a leak. Yeah, okay. We cool. can piss it. <laughs> you fucked it up. That was fun. <laughs> the clap would seem to be off. the more efficient of the two. Uh, <laughs> Don't break it. Are. Close enough. Um, yeah. Maybe, maybe not. You guys watching any fucking movies or anything lately? Like, what's your besides fucking the Russell? You know, all the Russell Crowe. <laughs> you know. Oh man, I'm deep I'm, diving dude, into Russell Crowe's catalog. <laughs> this is the the Crow cast, actually. The yeah, Crow, you know we're on yeah. the Crow cast right now. Right? <laughs> Pulp Sex Exorcist one through seventy six. <laughs> yeah, um, shows right now. I, I think what's yeah. We're what we're rewatching. Oh shit, we're watching um, <laughs> this show on Max called Naked Attraction. 
Ooh, have you heard okay. about it? No, it sounds kinky. It sounds, it's, uh, it's, it sounds yeah. fucking hilarious. Sounds it's shit sexy. TV. <laughs> like it, it's like okay, so like somebody will go on and be like, I want I, to find a date, like find a, a a mate, and person will go on and there's six color coded boxes in front of them, like people size boxes, and they're like, all right, are you ready to meet your people or whatever? And they raise the boxes from waist down and the people are naked <laughs> <laughs> and so each round oh, each round man. they eliminate someone and then it raises a little bit more oh, and they wow. eliminate them wow. and they go all the way down the line until like at the end they're like both then then the person that goes on the show goes and gets naked comes back and they they have to choose between the final two yeah. people that they want to date <laughs> and then they go on a date in clothes yeah and it's just it's shit tv but yeah we started it to like kill 20 minutes and then we started season <laughs> two a little later like we already blazed through the first season i uh, just my problem with that is i would never not be selected with this physique it's just you know it's just, Dude, it'd be too much some you know? of the things that the woman the woman that hosts the show is hilarious i bet i bet they have somebody super and funny to do that show it's uh <laughs> it's from like a british it's british broadcast and uh so she'll be like oh what do you think of his willy <laughs> you know stuff like that dude it's hilarious start saying willy willy ironically yeah. bbc is both yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. i see where yeah. you're going i see where you're going like uh -huh. like in 20 years we could be saying that here if we start now <laughs> if we start now <laughs> it's, it's uh, pretty well played it's pretty, pretty great show yeah. though, yeah. it's i would definitely check it out if i was you like it's it, funny. Does yeah. it, very like, funny does it, like do the sexes vary is it like men and then women? yeah like yeah. some it'll be like uh you know a man looking for women or like uh there was a, a few where it was a woman, but she was bisexual, so it would be like three women, three men. <laughs> yeah, wow. Real oh, there. And then one was like, <laughs> someone was pansexual, and it was like, some were trans, trans women, oh, trans man. men. It's like, a mannequin with no genitalia. <laughs> <laughs> it's a toaster. Full <laughs> Ken yeah. What would you like on this? It's wild. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's, like a, a, it's a crazy Mr. show. Head situation where like, you fucking plug in whatever you want. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like you could have a uh, like a a session of like man gets out of prison after 30 years and on the show. <laughs> yeah. right. oh my god that would be so He's funny like, I'll dude. take them all <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the parolee episode that is fucking hilarious like can we skip this and go straight to fucking please yeah, like, yeah. I'm just <laughs> looking for a usable hole at this point and, uh, <laughs> can we get out of here little? wow oh man I'm gonna I'll, give you two recommendations ooh, gentlemen right. a double doozy here yeah, one sweet. movie one show movie called it comes at night which is wow. kind of a nice time yeah, that's, yeah. Right. Well, you're that's the show, is it a porno yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no oh, yes i am different 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 it comes oh, that's at night that's kind of an older movie yeah, kind of rules. yeah okay. a few years back so it's kind of a pseudo pandemic type movie but that's not the focus like basically something's going around killing people at this point everybody's holed up secluded etc okay and it's kind of like this character study on how people react in that type of situation when everybody's fending for themselves afraid for the life etc is russell crowe involved it was, sad <laughs> no, he, it, it was one okay. russell crowe short right. of being the true right. man who, do you know who did him, it him or colin farrell they like i don't know who did it but i know it's from uh, a24 which is right. a studio uh, that i'm yeah, a yeah. huge fan of right. those guys fucking they, crap yeah movies. yeah movie absolute rules i need to get on that train very good yeah the a24 train yeah another show from max called the industry oh yeah, yeah. which is yeah. Snow. uh right? he's in the yeah. third season yeah, yeah yeah industry rules it's okay. kind of like a pseudo succession type yeah, thing but it, it like, like starts yeah. out it's like kids interning for this enormous financial corporation all the yeah. cut through a shit way too much john a lot snow, of blue dude, I can't yeah. Handle, yeah plenty of john snow yeah, i can't handle that much john more snow john anymore. snow than you can yeah. shake a stick at uh a24 yeah I, i'm not up on this like a24 fucking it's they, they've got some bangers well, I've, yeah. I've, got, so. I've got a movie that, not that to movie's fucking, awesome yeah. i've got a movie not to watch yeah, um <laughs> is alien resurrection yeah we've fucking been talking terrible. about alien yeah. a lot here because right. the new one uh, i love alien like, alien resurrection but, uh, is which one is that the was the, that the one the after prometheus yeah yeah it's the this no, covenant 
No, Ridley Scott has oh, nothing no, to do with okay, Resurrection. No, Resurrection's yeah. the one in the middle that's starring fucking Brad Dorif. Oh, it's got fucking... Shit. Uh, it's shit. Dorf right there, isn't it? Uh, that's, that's it, and it's terrible. <laughs> no, that's the Gordy Weaver. Yeah. But yes, yeah. it looks like Brad Dorf. Uh, this is, it's a fourth <laughs> yeah. one. This was uh, like seven days. One. It's got... Uh, who's Hellboy? The Hellboy guy? Uh, yeah, Ron Perlman. Perlman. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Perlman rules. Uh, I, like, I love Alien, and... Uh, no. I've seen them all except for this one. Um, this one I, is by far kind of the worst one. It's like the lowest budget, I middle heard, of the road. I heard bad Ross, things. This was our last guest's favorite alien movie. I heard. It also kind of rules. It also kind of rules in <laughs> Thank its own you. way, which is fair. That's <laughs> fair. That sucks That's for Brad Dorf. That was Brad Dorf. That's what I was pointing at. It was that sucks. Yeah. 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 That sucks for the last guest, man. Who, but, sorry. <laughs> but, uh, she, she, she she swore off TV a while ago, so yeah. don't don't be too. I mean, to be honest, so a couple yeah. things. I just watched the new one, which everybody has. That's why pretty much people are watching it again. This is the new one. Have you seen it? And no, so I, ha- I, ha- so I haven't. Yet. But I, I like uh, the Alien films, but um, like this was the one I haven't seen, and I heard yeah. shitty things about it. But I'm yeah. like, I'm gonna watch it anyway. And it's then, uh, again, it's yeah. kind of like of an era. You yeah, know? And yeah it was like, definitely. It was definitely yeah. like the '90s yeah. came in. It's like we're gonna redo yeah. some shit, and they it's, they didn't do a good. Alien like, vs Predator was also happening. Like, it was there like, was like it was know, like Batman. Uh, I love that movie. Like, it was yeah, like well, it was like the Batman that George Clooney film. It was like that was yeah, <laughs> yeah similar yeah. to that. It was weird. The special <laughs> effects of that era are weird. Um, but we just rewatched. So I've only seen original Alien once in my life. We just watched it like two nights ago. The OG Alien. Like the first, yeah. And it definitely is. Uh, there's definitely some problems. With it. I get that it's the original. That yeah. it's like you know, it's a really old whatever. But like, it's also just like. This is just like a weird guy in a suit. Like the alien. Like <laughs> I don't understand the end. Can you explain the end to end? Like okay, she blows up the ship. Then turns out the aliens on her little escape pod. Thing Spoiler alert! Yeah, it's been out for fifty fucking years. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, you, which, which is you, fine. That's great. But like the aliens, just like I don't understand what it, it's like napping in the pipes. It's just like sleeping or something. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Kind of rape I dudes. barely remember the it, end. It turns into yeah. the queen alien. No, dude, it's just not doing nothing. She like, she like backs away slowly, gets in. It's the infamous fucking Sigourney Weaver in her panties shot. She Wait, fucking what? gets into the fucking <laughs> suit and she like turns on all the fucking like air stuff and then just like kind of like just kind of shoots it out. Of the thing, like I, I don't get what the aliens doing at the end. You guys know, like, know what I'm talking about? He's like, got a nap too, bro. A little it's really just there, napping it up, dude. <laughs> Doing alien shit's hard work. Like, man. I, don't, I, I, I don't need to. Oh, there you go. Was it something about like a temperature deal? I'm, I'm struggling to there's remember. No, it's been I'm many tell, that's years what I'm telling you. Is this. there's no. Yeah. It, it kind of makes no sense. In conclusion, the Alien rules. It does rule. Among the worst rule. movie calls ever but, made. I'm not saying but, I hated it. I'm just saying it makes no fucking but re- sense. But Resurrection fucking sucks. Yeah, so. it was pretty yeah. bad. It was a shitty movie. Hey, I'm a, I, was I, like, I was like, I was like, like when it was over, I'm like, why did I stay yeah. up for this? But Sigourney so Weaver so. needed work for sure. She was like, yeah, I'll yeah, take that did. paycheck. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I really like uh, my favorite one's Prometheus. So I that, fucking that love is good. Prometheus. Yep. That movie fucking rules. I I'm, love that movie. Yeah. I'm there with you. That is yeah. probably the, the, like the, it was the best. Like, yeah. It was good. It's fucking crazy. Yep. The, I'm, uh, Co- I'm an Alien Covenant 3. Was decent. Cool. Alien, like, 3. alien 3 fucking rules, too. It's which kind of bad, but which I one's also three? like it. David Fincher's. They're, they're like oh, on yeah, this yeah. Little prison planet. It's a yep. really David Fincher movie. That one's sweet. Yeah. Aliens, of course, is kind of... That one actually might be arguably the actually best. That's probably technically yeah, the best because yeah. it has the most aliens and cool stuff going on. And just on. the plot kind of works, you know? Like, and Bill Paxton. Game over, man! <laughs> 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 Uh, what a classic (laughs) how was romulus uh so romulus was good it's definitely worth seeing um my take on it was a couple of things it's a little bit more teen-ish i mean it's a little bit more like geared toward the teenage audience i would say it's about a teenage crew and it's so uh which is fine um it's definitely a throwback to the original, the first one. There's some pretty cool tie-ins to the first one. Um, uh, the biggest takeaway 
well it's kind of too there was definitely some plot points that were kind of like this kind of doesn't really make sense even like the overall plot i'm kind of like okay that doesn't actually make sense but whatever uh but the kid call him a kid he's got to be they're like he's got to be 20 in his 20s yeah uh that plays the android uh see if you can look this dude up dude he's like a he's a young uh he's a black dude um he plays the android this fucking guy is going to be a fucking like if he fucks this up like this was one of the best acting performances i've seen in a long time this oh, fucking wow. kid kills this part because he's an android that's fucked up his androidness is wrong <laughs> and so he's not working correctly yeah. and then they like upgrade him in the movie and then he becomes the ultra android he just fucking this dude just owns this part it's not data rules. from star trek i'm also yeah that's, indeed. That's, <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> the bar like, for cyborg, speaking for sure. of like crazy fucking acting roles. this guy yeah okay. this fucking dude i'm calling him nice. i don't know how old oh he that is kid's he. been a, a ton of stuff is he oh yeah he is fucking phenomenal dude yeah. he is in that industry is show that michael i was talking Fass- about is, Mike, is, yeah. is michael fassbender in the new fassbender one? is not but uh spoiler I, alert spoiler alert yeah. ian holm is oh wow yeah, yeah. yeah. soak it in a little bit which nice. is pretty nice. huge where does that fall in Bilbo. the whole chronicle of They'll the figure alien it out. flips yeah. it like i think prequel? it's i think it's after the first one i think is where it squeezes in after alien Wait. one yeah. the first oh, one yeah. man it's yeah. getting yeah. real yeah. star wars in here yeah. with that <laughs> timeline isn't it? squeezing that that yeah. Yeah. ip but, juice but it's fucking yeah. brutal though like dude yeah, it's yeah. Brutal. Like, and they're they're coming out with like a series for uh, hulu right hulu oh Netflix. really yeah i think so okay. for alien Al- alien earth yeah oh wow dude, it's dope. Oh, it comes out like next year like really huh. is ridley scott involved <laughs> yes okay all right then yep. it's got seal of approval yeah it's, it's it's legit right speaking of yeah. sci-fi movies turn shows hbo max coming out with dune the series really? yeah. 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 Series? Yeah. 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 i didn't see anything about that oh, right there. Alien i did see it too oh yep. they, i think they yeah. might have showed this before the movie which would make sense uh yeah, Dune the series. Uh, Sci-Fi Channel did a Dune miniseries in like 2003. I remember that. You remember it? I yep. bought it off of eBay <sighs> on DVD when I wanted to fucking finally get into Dune. And it was pretty good it was as far as like actually like following the actual Dune story. Like the, you know? the book? Yeah. Because like, you know, the fucking infamous Dune movie, uh, beat up's favorite movie of all time. Fucking the original Dune is <laughs> the David Lynch. The worst movie ever made. <laughs> I, have, I have David like Lynch tattooed on my sucks. leg. <laughs> Do you really? Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, that's a big swing. Yeah, that's well played. I don't hate on David Lynch. Uh, Shave Man kind of hates I hate on, on David, David Lynch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you either, you Nothing either love respect him. for the tattoo. Yeah. You either love him or hate him. There's no him. middle ground. Yeah. He's no. so far fucking out there. It's mm, the, yeah. 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 I have people all the time that are like, is that your grandpa? <laughs> and I'm like, I, yeah. wish. I wish. <laughs> not, not that cool. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite Lynch movie or show or whatever? Uh, favorite Lynch movie, probably Mulholland Drive. <laughs> okay. Saw it once, but I literally remember nothing about it. It's. Remember it, you it remember the soundtrack, though? Uh, I probably more so. Yeah. I certainly remember the fucking uh, soundtrack to. Uh, Lost, uh, Lost, Lost Highway. Highway. Yeah, fuck it's a good yeah. soundtrack. Naomi soundtrack. Watts Ooh. in Mulholland Drive. Mulholland yeah. Drive. Yeah. yeah, Naomi Watts had a real nice run. It was yeah, one of the did. finest actresses out there. She did. Yeah, she was that, great. Yeah. Twenty years old. Did you ever see? Yeah, okay. Did you ever see fun, the Funny People remake? Uh, uh-uh, I never. Did. I don't think so. Is it funny People, not Funny People. Funny Games. Oh yeah, the remake. No, was, I didn't see the remake. I the, saw you, the, the Australian the original. Yeah, it was yeah. fucking wild. It's dude. like shot for shot. Okay. Uh, oh, that's cool. Brilliant remake, but right. she is amazing. She in that fucking movie. rules. Yeah, she very, instead very of good. the 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 married couple is her and uh, Tim Roth. Ooh, oh, Tim I Roth also Tim rules. Roth, yeah, man. he's under. He should be a honey more bunny. Shit. Yeah. Honey bunny. How's he not like still in every movie? Oh like, yeah, that there you go. Roth's the man. Yeah. Yeah, Michael Pitt's in it too. Fucking uh, she starred in that King Kong remake too, the uh the Peter Jackson, Peter Jackson. King Kong fucking you remember Wasn't that? Wasn't Jack Black in that? Yes. Oh, yeah. that one. People, yep, yep. people hated Jack Adrian Black. Brody. I thought Jack Black was already he, he, well, he wasn't yeah. a comedian in that movie. Oh, yeah. Did anybody see the it. Minecraft movie trailer? No. 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 Okay, so they released a live action Minecraft movie trailer. It's got Jason Momoa wearing a pink leather jacket <laughs> and long hair. And yeah. Jack Black plays Steve. 
I'm just back. excited to hear that Jason Steve. 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 Come on, Something you guys. Steve, body Steve, in a movie for a change. That means. Uh, can you please, yeah, can you, Ross, can you please be chronically <laughs> online <laughs> no. for one time in my life? I thought Minecraft was, it's just some game. Who the fuck's Steve? I didn't know there was like a like, character. Yeah, yeah, there's there's character. Steve, is, <laughs> Steve is the blue shirt guy you play as. Come on, oh, man. Oh, that, oh, that guy. I thought that was fuck he is. Oh, no that guy? Idea. That dude, the blurry guy. There he there. is. Wow, these <laughs> video game movies, I don't know. Fucking Mario movies and stuff. What about video game shows? You guys watch The Last of Us? Uh, hey. man, I thought it was pretty good. Last of Us, I liked it. Last of Us is definitely a, <laughs> that's kind of a different it's, situation. Yeah, it's an exception. Yeah. Pedro that, Pascal rules. That was and more the like a from, story uh, from the Game, game of Thrones. Anyway. Yeah, 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 the yeah, mini yeah. queen chick. What's her, I can't remember yeah. what her name is. Yeah, either her real name. She's yeah, great, she's though. Great. I think season two of that is coming yeah, out pretty coming soon. Out. Yeah. 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 Apparently, uh, actually, fucking TJ Miller was just fucking going off to me about fucking... What the fuck uh, is this? How good the second game is. This is a Minecraft movie. It doesn't just look like it's going to be terrible. Dude, not having the words. It looks so bad. kind of fucking me up right now. It's weird. I know it looks like it's going to be terrible, but it's probably going to be great. Yeah, it looks like, that way. Like monetarily it's, wise, it's mon- monetarily, <laughs> it's going to be gonna, great. It's going to crush it. I mean, it's a kids movie. They're playing yeah. a magical mystery tour too. Yeah. Well, like, it could be. It could be. To to get that? It, it could be a terrible movie, but like everybody's going to go see it, and they're going to take their kids to see yeah, it. So Sloan, yeah, Sloan's yeah. definitely going to yeah. want to see right. this. Yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. It's that's who it's for. It's a kids movie. Yeah, it's not. Sure. It's, it's not for, for it's, us watching <laughs> David Lynch and talking shit about Dune. <laughs> <Yeah. and laughs> <laughs> David Lynch didn't do the Minecraft movie. Ross, <laughs> <laughs> <Was, laughs> there are full grown adults that play Minecraft. Yeah. Okay, okay. Just you. It's just you. It's just you. It's they just they you. fucking lost touch. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun for all <laughs> ages. Yeah, right? yeah, all ages. <laughs> damn it. No, I never played Minecraft. I never. Uh, I never have either. You guys, yeah. video game guys, really at all? Or? I've got I'm a. Barely, uh, I, I've got really a Nintendo all. Wii, and my daughter yeah. and I have been fucking crushing uh, nice. Donkey Kong Returns. Oh nice. yeah. Nice pretty sweet game that, she likes it that's like donkey kong country right i think we had still we had rocking the wii yeah, yeah kind of, yeah and the wii yep yeah, yeah. There, i know they made so, a new donkey kong country for it's i guess it's a switch, switch now, or yeah. it was yeah, pretty it was pretty sweet the I frozen donkey empire kong country that was my we, shit we've got day. we've got the switch we, we play yeah. the switch with the with my kid a lot right. um like Little Mario Kart. Yeah, Mario yeah, Kart. Mario, Mario Kart, Kart yeah. fucking rules. Yeah, that's the shit. I'm Mario gonna get one of those Party. emulators for down here. Uh you know, they made there's they're selling all kinds of different ones. It's just a fucking like a USB stick you plug in and it's got every fucking oh, like Nintendo, the... SNES, sixty four, Genesis, what it like it's oh, literally nice. like four thousand games on it and it comes with like controllers. That would be cool. Play that. So I'm gonna get that down here just so I can basically just fucking like just start fucking owning people at Mario Kart sixty four <laughs> at the end of every podcast. Like, <laughs> and, and now you have to play me and Shave at Mario Kart sixty four. Dude, that's dope. We that's a good idea. Beat. It's gonna be a bloodbath. I'd be, <laughs> play the shit out of that. That'd be, be like, awesome. I've never played this. I don't want to play this. Play the fucking game. <laughs> just, oh, just blasting them with shells. Talking mushroom cups. Talking mushroom yep. tattoos. Yeah. Just laying a waste. This is the. Uh, is this the sixty four one? Yes, sir. It looks yes, like it. It looks yeah. like it. Yeah. It looked. It just looked weird. Oh, man. On this, uh, really TV. bringing back the memory. Yeah. You see. Well, it's four by three. So. Yeah. Uh, Shave Man was the only guy that could fucking beat me every now and then. He by every now and then. Every now and then. Who was your racer? Stop fifty fifty. Who was your racer? Goodbye, ass. I'm gonna lie. Who was your racer? I'm a Wario guy. A Wario. Yeah, soak it in a little bit. See, I, 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 I race on Yoshi. Man. Yoshi's yeah, awesome. yeah, I like that yeah. acceleration. Yoshi or Diddy Yoshi's Kong. Awesome. You know. Yeah. Those two. Yeah, we we play a lot at our house, and uh, my birthday's and was just a a couple months ago, and for my birthday, I had my. My my daughter wanted to tattoo me for my birthday. Oh shit! And I was like, "All right, what do you want to do?" <clears throat> Is that why you got the full black sleeve? On no. This? <laughs> <laughs> no, those, those were my bad choices. Um, she wanted to do a, a toad head on me, oh, so man. that's what she did. That's pretty dope. Yeah, that's it was a, cool. That's an acceptable. Fucking Can we call tattoo. attention to what a piss poor run of? Cart this is like yeah, this thing this? made the internet. Yeah, this is yeah, some, some 50 out. cc like, like, bitch. Yeah, yeah I'm like wasting these motherfuckers. Get out, get out of 150. On a Never play on yeah, 50. Yeah. Terrible. Actually, I'm more of a fan of 100 cc because the only difference between 
100 and 150 cc it's not the speed it's just like the kind of like ai in the game that fucks yeah. with you and so like it, it's actually kind of funner to play uh in 100 cc this guy is talking about his dominance and cart and then doubling no no to the, yeah, the 100 cc <laughs> 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 Said I'm pro, you know, I'll put up like 200 points. It's, you know, not, it's not faster. It's not faster. It's, it's just like, get the fuck out of here. What's out. different is the way the fucking that AI plays. I don't play so much see, fucking card, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Step up to the 150 CC. I get the fuck out of here. I'm saying it's so. funner when you're playing multiplayer to play in 100 because the AI is different. We're talking about separating the men from the boys. We're not talking about enjoyment. <laughs> Fun plays into the equation now. This is a matter of pride. This is a matter of manhood. I'm okay, like, Carl, Ross, is, son, this is Ross's step, favorite bro. thing is the banana. He's a banana yeah. peel guy. Hey, man, you use what you fucking got. See, that's the fucking... <laughs> that, that's, what, that's what separates a man from... What, you get the fucking banana? That means because I'm already in first place? Dude, they're giving me that whatever first place. Got it. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to fucking dominate with that banana. <laughs> you know, I hate to hit, dude. Eat this banana, yeah. bitch. No, man, you got to have you gotta have the three red turtle shells. Then yeah, you're... Like, then if you're, you can keep first, you're golden. Yeah. Unless you get a blue shell. Yeah, then they're going to fuck those. you up. But. If you got a stopper, that was our thing. We yeah. always equated it to fucking... Uh, uh, euchre. <laughs> I got a stopper. If you're in first and you got a shell hanging off you, that means I can't hit oh, you. Man. You know, so like, yeah. <laughs> Wait, wow, we really nerded out there. Okay, Mark. Yeah. It's all good. Hey, yeah, yeah, sorry, I started it with the Minecraft. Thing, yeah. It's things, all on me. Things get heated when you're going with the cart. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. It's a uh, yeah, it's serious business. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's, a, it's an important game. It's important to everybody, right? Everybody oh, yeah, loves it. Dude. Who doesn't love it? <laughs> Talking right? Mario Kart, yeah. GoldenEye, two of the Ooh, greatest. Ones. Golden yeah. Yeah. Golden Eye, yeah. That's why I want to get the that, thing. That was play, like, PlayStation, right there. Golden Goldeneye. Goldeneye was, uh, was 64. 64 yeah. Was it? Yeah. 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 Well, fuck me. Same era. <laughs> Same era. <laughs> it really was, yeah. The, and the fucking characters on GoldenEye, look, <laughs> people yeah, just look so, so funny, fucked dude. up. Dude. So funny, dude. <laughs> Like, look how real he looks. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just these uh, square heads. It looks like, yeah. it's it's like, like everybody Anderson just like stretched the skin around their face. I have to admit something though. What's up? Is that I had little brothers, right? But I would always pick odd job before they could. Yeah, oh, that's, that's a fuck yeah, move. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, no. like, think of the trauma that yeah. I instilled in them. Odd jobs, tough call. You can't man. do odd job. Dude. Playing golden no. guns only. Yeah, yeah I would put. Yeah. I do one shot kills. <laughs> one shot job. Kill. Yeah. So every time we'd run into each other, I'd be like, pew, right yeah. in the dick. <laughs> Man, you're a bully. Yeah, I, so I, I was kind of a bully to my little brothers. My thing like, was, I knew where all the really body armor the drops were. So <laughs> just collect, the armor. <laughs> collect the body armor and fucking dominate that way. That was kind of the move. Fuck, man, I, we were really good at that game too. The amount of hours we spent at that game, but yeah. that was kind of the last era for me with video games. I kind of fell off after that. Just shit just yeah. got too hard, and I got into other things. And oh, you wanted to live your life? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I just don't have the time. Yeah, it's really anymore. Too. Yeah, and it, I will have a little bit of time, and I'll just like dive all the way in on a game and just complete it, and then just won't play games again for like right. another year. Yeah, it's the way to do it. I don't know, my like that's what I miss about old video games is you didn't have to put that kind of time it was just like true you throw it on you play mario you play contra like it wasn't like yeah. talking about thing. running talking about running, gunning, gunning, baby yeah, yeah. i don't want a yeah. training yeah. session yeah. before i play I your fucking I'm game i'm not trying to do an 80 hour game like i want to play for 25 minutes hey, and like and, you and you're only competing it's a same, you're like, competing against the computer yeah, at that time now right, right. competing against Which everyone in the fucking I have world. no interest in, in doing i was playing yeah. some fucking halo with my roommates back in college and just getting Fucking smoke, dude. <laughs> dude. I'm terrible I'm at like, shooters. I, I, I'm it's like, tough, I barely dude. played this game. We're diving yeah. into some fucking shit, and they're just laughing yeah. at us. And I'm just like, okay. Well, like just, she just whatever. got, she just got Fallout, and we're playing Fallout Four, and I just, it's so fucking hard. Mm -hmm. Like, dude, I tried yeah, playing man. that game for literally ten yeah. minutes. I'm just like, this yeah, is I too much. My that's what, that's what we've been saying. Like, why is yeah. it so you hard? You fucking yeah. casual. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. I so fine. Like, trying to be casual, dude. I remember, like, <laughs> I remember buying like a game for my nephews, like on their Christmas. Just like, I want this like Call of Duty game or some shit. Yeah. Like, whatever, I'll buy it for you. I played it with them, 
And like they just like stab me with a fucking knife every time. It's like, what, 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 what do I do? Like, what, 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 like, will you let me walk ten feet, please? Like, right, right. Like, They're literally yeah. bringing a knife to a gunfight and killing <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, several times. Yeah, I just that was I guess my big thing. I actually had so I had a pretty sweet collection of uh, every Nintendo system up through the Wii, the first Wii. So and I oh, yeah. I had a big old tube TV, everything hooked up to them all on a switcher so you could just switch to whatever system oh, yeah. you wanted. So is that like everything dumb. to GameCube? Uh it was through GameCube and Wii. Yes. Yep. Oh, the and Wii. Yeah, okay. had the Wii. So NES, SNES 64 was that GameCube next after Sounds that? And then, so. then the Wii or whatever. Did you say Super NES? Yeah, I think so. Well, anyway, the, the whole fucking shebang, right? Gotcha. So all the games and everything. It represented a solid 30 year span of yeah. not getting laid. Yeah. You know, all, all tied in the various <laughs> game systems. And and, uh, <laughs> I had it. I had it at my old house. Uh, it was probably now like six, seven years ago. I don't know. Six years ago, I sold it. I sold it all. I was, like, uh, I was never playing it. It was a pretty solid collection mm -hmm. of NES <laughs> and shit. I sort of regret it, you know. A bunch of games, too. Bunch, oh, yeah, that's like Tons. the whole, whole shebang. And I sold to some guy. I knew he was going to fucking part it out and sell everything. Oh, and man, you sold it for... You got to ensure that thing's going to a good, I, safe home where it's going to be well taken. He was that's giving, like giving me up what a puppy, I was asking dude. for, you, got, no, you know. Or an instrument like, or something. I was just yeah. kind of like, I need to start letting some... If, in case you haven't noticed, I get real collecty. So do I. Like, I got to let thing. some things go. Yeah. I'm never playing it. It's just collecting dust. You know, so like, but yeah. sort of regret it. But now I'm just like, I'm just going to get one of those things that has all the fucking games on it and I can still play all those games. Yeah. You know, you but, did the right thing. I think you did. But the controller's <laughs> not the same. Like, we always talk about, like, the original buttons on, like, you can't play Contra the same way because the button doesn't react the same when you've way. Got it the <laughs> stick, the yeah. fine tuned <laughs> yeah. fucking thumbs that we had talking back in the day. Decades like, like, of honing our craft like, on these yeah, things. You're yeah. talking to the wrong yeah. people. I'll hook you up. All right. The my, slightest. My controller, you got to get this going for the pod launch. I'll get it going. Though. You need to get I'll the get fucking going. Uh, the emulator. Yeah. Dude, I was doing emulators happen. 20 years ago. Yeah. All right. No, we know you're new. We know. <laughs> yeah. We get it, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm a fucking nerd too, man. Yeah, we all I are can't say sure. shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry. So when's the fucking gig coming up here, boys? What we were talking about in uh, Black Friday. No shit. Nice. Black, well, Black Friday at Bells. I'm gonna no, try that's to the day after Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yes. So it is on a Friday. We typically have, but that being a holiday weekend, obviously we do this on Friday, so I can't. It's hard to get to Friday shows, but maybe we won't have one that Friday because of the holiday. Yeah. I, w I won't be here. It would be fun. Okay. Uh, Bell's super fun venue too, by the way, yeah. with the sound. We've actually never the played cool by. We, we so this is a first for there. us. It's very cool back there. And the fucking cafe. Day was all, they, they they didn't do rock and metal and shit. No. It was only like oh, a lot of bluegrass like, and that kind yeah, of stuff like going whatever, on. Yeah, whatever and funk bands and you know I love all that shit too. But it was and like uh, obviously us. It's our reunion. Um, if he dies, he dies. I've literally been friends with those guys since they started that band. Yep. We've all played. We played with them a bunch of times. Uh, the homies and snake out from Muskegon. Um, good friends of mine. They're doing some really cool things with the Muskegon music scene right I now. I don't know those guys. Snake out is um, fucking awesome. Sweet. They're yeah. cool. They're not like right. they're, they're definitely the, the lightest band on the bill, but they fit. They're good. Um, Mouthful Great. of Locusts from Kalamazoo. They're just awesome band they're just nice. a really hard to put, put your finger on um it's gonna be a good night of music man yeah yeah very cool should be better I'm, so I'm, I'm gonna try to make it no guarantees but i'm definitely it's on my uh we would love to have you boys i'll be there sick Hell oh, yeah, man. It's going to be a great I show. I won't like punch every, anyone. Every, yeah. <laughs> Please, every, Luke. I'm I so promise. traumatized. Come on, it's I possibly promise. beat up, depending on how the night goes. You're a little too mouthy over there. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, place. You know, you know, if, if Luke punched me in the face, that's a story I can remember <laughs> yeah. and tell to my he friends. He thinks you're going to give him a hug. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> I'll do that. I'll, do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see him. I'll jump yeah. off. I'll be like, hey, hey <laughs> your, your favorite WWE move. People's elbow off the stage. Stone Cold <laughs> Stunner. <laughs> no, it should be badass. So it's going to be a one and done. Is that the plan right now? That uh, is the plan. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. Yeah. I'm calling bullshit. You're going to yeah. do another couple. We'll see. Call bullshit. <laughs> we will see, but <laughs> we'll, I doubt it. All right. Well, that should be fucking dope. Anyway, you got any plans to write any new songs or anything? That's what I want to know. 
Oh yeah, man, put you on the spot. Let's get fucking Chad over here yeah. writing these fucking tunes, you guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Chad's um, been moving. Here's what I'm saying. We we have one a new song. One new, new song. song. New a new, s- new single. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. do one new track. That's what I think you guys should work. Yeah, give possibly it a good, debuted on the show. Yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. Not just saying. saying. Just saying. Give it a cool name like Dangerville. Yes. Dangerville. <laughs> it should be called the Dangerville Podcast. Fucking rules. It's a new single. <laughs> but you guys, I think we should call it the Ghost of the Big Money Hustlers. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. I think it's uh, I think that's a hit. Yeah, I think yeah, that's a hit, boys. It fits with our other song titles. So Fuck yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Y'all need it's to a, do. It's going to be a really fun show. Like the lineup, we d- we did spend a lot of time thinking. We about handpicked the ba- it. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And uh, to us, the lineup means a lot. Like guys, of course, love those dudes. Played with them for years. Um, Dane, he's been awesome working with us on it yeah he helped us out a lot yeah with the show uh, sweet shout dane out to dane, dane man for dane, sure dane, 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 dane hammerly awesome dude i don't know dane i gotta meet dane you guys um, gonna snake I'm, out me. come on even i know dane <laughs> yeah. come on now dane, sorry snake out songwriting geniuses those guys are the shit just check those guys out. Out. No. mouthful of locusts some local kalamazoo metal those listen to those guys they've got some really catchy good metal so. sick so it's black friday at bell so if yep. you're listening to this and you fucking yeah. want some fucking killer metal fucking get out there i'll I'm probably out. be there yes sir uh, <laughs> it's changing Shea man now. may or may not be there even though he lives in it's literally like it's three a, blocks away yeah. <laughs> yeah. He li- i'm playing mario kart fuckers like i'm owning this toad situation right now. <laughs> hell yeah all right man thank you guys so much for fucking coming out thanks for having us thanks for having us appreciate it it was fun all right we'll wrap this shit up peace out everybody peace later